I have become alive. I did it. Alright, so, hi, how's it going? Uh, this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure The Seventh Stand User. It's a JoJo fan game. I I've heard some good things, so I'm pretty excited to play it. Uh, maybe not as exciting as Part 4, finally, airing today. JoJo Fridays are back, and... Oh god, I'm super, so excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably a little too excited. This, it's, it's... It can't end poorly! Yeah, it's gonna be great. Let's go, I guess. Let's do it. There. Ooh. Oh, who's that handsome fellow? Who is this guy? That's what you're thinking, right? I, I did actively say that, yeah. I mean, I can't mistake you for anyone else, Speedwagon, but I did ask. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the interfering Speedwagon. Sorry for the sudden entrance, but would you like me to explain this game's features? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Oh. This isn't as interesting as I thought it was going to be, but okay, sure. This game takes place during the events of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. I'm not in that one. In it, you join jo the Joe Stars on their quest as the seventh adventurer handpicked by fate. After undergoing a thorough personality analysis, you'll be cast as one of 18 original characters created just for this game. Next, the game controls. Basic controls, action key, enter. Space or Z. Cancel all the things. A bunch of ones I wouldn't have expected either, but there they are. And op wait, open menu, use the cancel key? What? Why would that be the case? I don't what the hell? Also, what's the cancel key? Is it is it backspace or is it delete? I don't know, Speedwagon. Special keys. F4 to talk. I already did that because the full screen is awful. Toggle resolution. Oh! That's fine. Four squids again. Uh, power on the radio is shift. Interesting. And save the game. Press the cancel key. I'm just, I gotta assume it's backspace. Uh, to pull up the menu and select save. I understand. I don't, not the cancel key part, but thanks, Speedwagon. The always helpful Speedwagon. Right, where's his hat, though? I mean, he's got it in his picture, in the little, little box there he had before. He doesn't have any of his hats. He has two very distinct hats. By the way, it looks like this is your first time playing, but what difficulty would you prefer? What's the, oh, I guess I, I do want to know. In easy mode, you will receive a bonus of 1,000 experience points, 10,000 gold, and an extra recovery item. However, or extra recovery items. However, each party member will lose 10 friendship points. Normal mode is the default difficulty and the way the game was designed to be played, so pick that one. In hard mode, each party member will lose 10 friendship points, the protagonist will start with lowered stats, and enemies will attack patterns unique. Oh. Lower stats, stronger enemies, and lower friendship levels makes for a severe playthrough that will test your skills. Well, I mean, come, no. Which reminds me, would you like to watch the prologue? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Hey! Over here! We finally hit the jackpot, it's, it's Dio! Hey, what, are you, what are you doing? Open it! I've told you, there bound to be good stuff in there, considering it was a luxury liner that went down 100 years ago. Yeah, because I store all of my valuables in a casket. Eh, who cares? Just hurry up and open it! Jeez, calm down, I get it. What? That's funny. <laughs> it's locked from the inside. Yeah, we'll force it open then. Hey, you, grab that blowtorch. Alright, time to burst this thing open. Huh? There's writing on this side. D. I. O. D. O. Eh, must be the company that made the chest. Yeah, it's open it. Jeez. I want my money. Oh, do I get to see them be murdered brutally? That'd be great. No, it just cuts to black. Not even a silhouette of an infant's head being bitten off. I'm not gonna try to do a Dio Re. I'm not gonna do it. This is Recon Team B-12, coming in from what appears to be an abandoned ship. We haven't found corpses or any traces of the crew. All we've found is an empty container that was left in the dock. It seems to have been forced open with a... 
Oh. My lack of English language is, is palpable. I don't... I mean, it's a blowtorch. It's a blowtorch. Don't judge me! No clue as to where the whereabouts of its former component. We are requesting that a search team uh, for the lost crew members be dispatched ASAP. Beep. Jeez. Talk about bizarre. Hey! Uh, hey, what do you make of all this? This chest is made of reinforced steel, so whatever was in here had to be important. <laughs> Maybe someone or something was lurking inside, and when they opened it, it devoured them whole. And maybe it's still on the ship, or whatever. Is Dio hiding in that toilet? Hmm. Hey, where'd you disappear to? Come on, it's getting dark out! Oh, no. Dio, why? Why would Dio be hiding and picking them off one by one? He's Dio. Beautiful middies. Listen to them. Hey, who's that handsome fella? Papa! Papa! Over here, Papa! What? I can't. I'm not. Nope, he's just getting normal guy voice. He can't do jo old Joseph. Papa! <laughs> I'm so glad you could come, Papa! With my only daughter in a bind? Why, I could. Why, I'd cross the entire earth in 24 hours if I had to! <laughs> How's Mama? Ah, uh, she doesn't know. I mean, she threw a fit when I told her that I was on a top secret Joestar company business. Uh, she still doesn't know. I st don't tell her. No one tell her about the thing. Papa. Mm. I don't know what that means, Holly. Hey, knock. Oh, it's the hug. It's the hug. Don't want it. I haven't gotten a chance to cuddle with you in ages. Ah, oh, good grief. Did you realize how that sounds coming from a 45-year-old woman? Oh, no, you've done it. I'll have to tickle you for that. Coochie coochie coo. I quit it. No. Wait, I have that. I have that on here. It's, it's this one. Oh, no. There it is. Hey, hey what are you looking at? Let me help you with your luggage! Yeah, some asshole hit me in the shin. We didn't cover that part. Now then, Holly, about Jotaro. Huh? Are you sure he mentioned an evil spirit? Oh! I can't believe it! My Jotaro! Oh, he's, he's such a good boy! It's all true! No one else in the room could see it, but I could! Another arm beside his own, and that gun! Nobody else could see it but you. Yeah! Okay. Have you been experiencing anything similar? Unusual. No! Nothing like that. But listen! He says he won't leave his cell until he figures out the cause of all this. Papa! What am I gonna do? <laughs> now, now, my darling. Now that Joseph Joestar is here to save the day, there's no cause for alarm. Now then, I'd like to meet with our Jotaro face to face. Hey, Avdol! I love these sprites. They're really good at depicting very iconic characters with minimal detail. I, I can't believe it! S somehow there's more things in that cell than there were before! He he's been possessed by something terrible! And whatever it is, it's violent! If anyone finds out about this, I'll be fired in a heartbeat! Uh, don't worry! I'll handle my grandson, and by I'll handle my grandson, I mean I'll have my manservant do it. I need Matt Mercer. Ugh. Ugh, grandson. Jotaro, Papa, gra your grandpa! Grandpa's here to help you now! Please come home! I'm glad she's like the only woman that shows up that isn't a villain. Thank you, Ollie. Get out! You're coming with me! Piss it off. I will have to be gruff in this one. I didn't ask you to come here. You'd want to help me? What makes you think you can do that? Sorry, you had to come all the way from New York. But I'm not leaving. Turn it a bit! Okay. 
Jotaro ba brandished the left pinky finger of Jose. Oh, yeah, he, he, he took off the prosthetic. My, my finger! When did he take that? See that? Do you finally get it? This is my evil spirit. Don't come any closer. Unless you want to cut short of what little time you have left, old man. Unbelievable! I know all about the true nature of that evil spirit of yours, Jotaro. I knew it before I even came. I clear up this little mystery for him right now, but... It won't do to simply explain it. He has to feel it with his own body! It's the only way to protect him from the dangers yet to come. It's not pronounced like that. It's not spelled Abdol. It's Avdol, isn't it? With a V? Avdol, it's your turn! Allow me to introduce Avdol with a B this time. It's legally distinct. My good friend from Egypt, look at him. Avdol, get my grandson out of there! I give up. He looks tough. But just saying he'll get me out isn't going to make it happen. Oh, I, he doesn't give up. It's not what Jotaro does at all. I was very confused. Besides, did you really think I'd let a butt-ugly guy like that boot me out of here? Don't be mean to Abdul. Nothing you could do is going to change my mind. All you're doing is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Mr. Josta, I may have... I've been a bit rough with him. When, I, when I'm through, he'll be in so much pain that he'll be begging us to let him out. <laughs> Eh, it's not a problem. I don't really care. Papa, what are you- what are you- what's going on here? Hey! 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 Hey, keep it down over there! Shh, shut up! Ooh, I get to fight- oh my god. I is that- Yes. Oh god. Why is it so slow? It's much slower than it was in the title screen and it's hurting my brain. Ugh! Yes, Avdol has an evil spirit just like yours. This spirit that obeys Avdol's will is called... Magician's Red! Yes! Oh, I'm playing as Jotaro, but Jotaro loses, though. Kill him. Do you see the M next to Avdol's name? That represents your opponent's distance from you. And this music is going to give me an aneurysm. It's too slow, it hurts. S, short, means the opponent is close. L, long, means that they're you far away. And M is middle, means it's somewhere in between. It, 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 okay, so, but don't forget it. At that distance, physical attack should be the most effective against it. It means against damaging. Blah, 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 blah. I'm bad at language. Fight him. Yeah, fight him. Ugh, it's hot! Are these flames? Arm, it's burning! Is this all because of that evil spirit? Now, Jotaro, summon your spirit as well! That's not what Avdol sounds like at all, but it does, he is now. A figure resembling an ancient Roman centurion appears from behind. Is that what he was supposed to look like? He was supposed to look like a centurion? Oh. I don't remember that. Uda! <laughs> I didn't think you'd be able to manifest it so clearly. However, you failed to grasp even the basics of stand combat. Stand combat? Jotaro! What you thought was an evil spirit is actually a powerful vision created from our own life force. Since it appears beside you, we call it a stand. This stand draws power from your spirit energy, so if you consume all of it, it won't be able to manifest. Stands also have different attributes, such as range. Your stand can only manifest very close to your body, so it's a close range stand. Unless he learns Starfinger, and then it's, you know, don't, don't ask questions. Avdol, which I'm still pretty sure is spelled with a V, stand, on the other hand, fights at range, so you can unleash all-out attacks while keeping your distance. Unfortunately, your close-range stand will be unable to attack at full power. If you don't want to be limited to your attacks, you don't have a ranged attribute. I don't have a ranged attribute. Then use the guard command strategically and wait for your enemy to reveal their weak point. Some enemies will manifest their distance to prevent you from... Maintain their distance. I am awful at the English language today. To prevent you from closing in on them. So keep on your toes. Now then. The fight is on! 
I did three damage. Hi, Abdul. Why did you come close? Is it to teach me a valuable life lesson? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Magician Dread's kicking my ass. But I'm pretty sure that uh, Jotor's gonna win this and then lose based on uh, technicality. Just, just, a, just, a, just an idea. It might happen. Goals and flames. Yeah! He crashed through the wall. Kill him. Kill him. Kill Avdol. Avdol, stop getting closer. Why would you do this? I mean, I know why you're doing it, but just... Oh, you actually lose! It doesn't even do the... You win and then... Oh, okay. That's... A bit odd. Jojo stands. Pride open the bars of the cell. You know what? Forget it. The, the bars opened on their own. Oh, this music hurts me. It's, it's so much slower than it was on the title screen. Hey, where are you going? Look at me. Yeah, I love this moment. Mr. Josta, as you can see, I've got him out of the cell. Ah, you lose. You lose. You didn't think with your head. He pulled a, he pulled a Joseph on you. Was this your plan all along? Not quite. I did truly intend to send you to the hospital, but your strength far exceeds my expectations. And if I hadn't pulled these bars apart, what then? My ability, rather my stand, is Magician Red. If it came to it, my flames could easily melt them. You and Ab... That hurts me. You and Abdal have the same kind of power, Jotaro. But we can talk about that once we leave. This isn't the place to loiter. Don't loiter in a prison cell. Never do that. Yay! Jotaro finally came out. Yay. Shut up! You're such a pain in the ass! Got it, honey. Hey! The nerve of you calling your own mother a pain in the ass! Who taught you to speak that way? And you! Don't look so happy about it. Holly, please, please just stop being in the story for a moment, please. Hey Gramps, listen up! Uh -huh. There's still something that's bugging me. How did you know so much about my evil spe- Rather, how did you know about my stand? Well, it's- it's- it, it, It's why I came from New York to talk to you. You see, uh, there's some stuff going on. Something linked with the Joestar family. Uh, take a look at this. This didn't happen in the prison. Joseph took a look- took out some photo of an abandoned cruiser and his chest inscribed with the word Dio. What am I supposed to be looking at? Four years ago, this metal chest was pulled up from the water west of Africa. Afterwards, I took it into my own hands. In reality, it's not a chest, but a casket. It dates back about a hundred years. Apparently, this coffin was found in the wreckage of the ship that Jonathan Joestar, your great-great-grandfather, died on. Ah! When it was finally discovered, it was empty. Only I know what it contained. The one Abdal and I had been searching for. When you say, the one, do you mean? Yes, I'm searching for a person who was also aboard that ship 100 years ago. A monster who was finally risen from his 100 year slumber. His name, Dio, mortal enemy of the Joestar line. Hey, Jojo. Don't pout like this has nothing to do with you. Mab's all right. I don't know who you are, but you got some balls to say that to me. He's, I mean, technically one. And Gramps, do you expect me to believe this 100-year-old guy just crawled out of the ocean? You really think I'm gonna just nod my head and go, Oh, makes sense, after hearing that little bull? I mean, come on. Hey. Hey. But when you think about it, our evil spirits are equally unbelievable, aren't they? Uh, yeah, you got a point. Yeah, whatever. It, it's fine by me. I'll make you believe me in due time, you stupid kid. Just let me tell you my reason for going after Dio, and why I know all about his him in his first place, in the first place. <laughs> Abdal, take a look at this Polaroid camera. I'll show you. Truth is, Jotaro, one year ago I discovered that I also have the same kind of evil spirit as you, a stand. 
<laughs> Is that true, Papa? What did you say, Gramps? Look closely. Yeah, this is my stand. God, I love Joseph. Joseph smashed the camera and a Polaroid photo came flying out. Did you see the thorns that sprung out of my arm? That's my stand. Its ability is spirit photography. I can make faraway things appear on film. Of course, I have to bust a $300 camera every time I do it, but I'm a millionaire, so it's fine. What's going over here? What's going on over here, sirs? Nothing that concerns you. Be gone. Pay attention, Jotaro. This image, this photo, shows... Well, at the show of frozen. Mm-hmm. English. <laughs> what? Jotaro, Holly, have you ever taken a good look at the backs of your neck? What do you mean? I'm sure you've never examined it carefully. You, you would never notice a perfect star on your shoulder. But on the very base of your neck, there's a star-shaped birthmark. <gasps> Holly and Jotaro both noticed the same birthmark on their own necks. Why do you mention it? I heard from your mother that my late... I uh, heard from my mother that my late father also had this very birthmark. I imagine all of those of the Joestar bloodline must have had... must have it. So what exactly is on that photo? This birthmark, which none of us had paid any mind to until now, will decide our fate. Papa! Just get to the point. Show us what's on that photo. Do it. It's Dio! It's the exact pose that I have in the weird sidebar. It's that Dio. It's him that always appears in the photos. And on his neck is that same birthmark. That's because below the neck, Dio Brando's body belongs to my grandfather, Jonathan Joestar. If not for my grandma Arena, I would never have known that occurred on that ship that was lost in the Atlantic over a century ago. That bastard Dio stole my grandfather's body. That's all that she told me. I'll bet that's... I bet that now somewhere in the world he's using that body to carry out some evil schemes. Four years since he has revived, and just this year we discovered both my physical ability and your spirit. It cannot be a coincidence. Dio must be the cause. Our abilities are what most people might describe as ESP, or psychokinesis. I was born with my stand, but yours seemed to have something to do with Dio and that stolen body of his, like an invisible link between you and your ancestor Jonathan. It's very likely that Dio Awakening has in turn awakened your own dormant abilities. Ugh. Abdal, can you describe his location from this- determine his location from this photo? I'm afraid I cannot do that. It's far too dark for me to see clearly. Uh, sorry, Holly, but it looks like we're going to have to park ourselves at your place here in Japan for a little while. Uh. Jotaro, why are you so angry? Why are you so angry at your grandpapa? Uh, I felt it again. Once again, I sense that someone is watching me. Oh, it's a Dio. Jonathan's descendants, no doubt. This body seems to be sending out a signal somehow. So be it. I suppose this is destiny. Destiny that must be dealt with. Destiny that must be eliminated. Destiny that I've already taken measures to nip in the bud. Dio. Huh? It seems that a new destiny is beginning. That would be your destiny. You, nameless one. Apostle of fate. You're about to walk a path full of pain and suffering. However, if it, it is necessary that you continue the fight. Please accept this small offering. Your very own stand. I hope you use it well. Thanks, God! You're the best! Welcome to my humble shop. I am Muhammad Abdal. A fortune teller. I detect the capability to wield a stand within you. If you answer a few easy questions for me, I'll be able to determine your stand. I could just summon it. Sometimes this gets a little long, but the more questions you answer, the more potent your abilities will be. First off, picture yourself in everyday surroundings. Where are you standing? Think not about the small details, but where your position is in relation to others. Mingling with the group. Right in the center. 
Yeah, I'm just kind of doing my own thing. I see. Next one is about your worldview. Do you think it's best to give people the benefit of the doubt, or is your trust something to be earned? I mean, it depends on the circumstances. I, I'm not particularly trusting of the shop owner who just decided that I have magic powers and is giving me a questionnaire. Are you fussy about how others view you? I don't really give a shit. Do you like being the only person in a room? I mean, yeah. It, it smells less bad. Do you readily take positions of leadership? Nah. Do you think there's no one that truly understands you? So, yes, I think that there is no one who truly understands me, or no, I do not. I guess this one. Are you a quiet person? I mean, I'm screaming in an empty room into a microphone. So, yeah. Do you dislike inviting friends over? No. When something exciting is going on, do you immediately perk up and want to join the fun? Yeah. Are you often quick to throw in the towel? No. Do you often worry about standing out? Worry in what way? I mean, either way, I guess, I guess yes? Do you think that the ends justify the means? No. Your boyfriend or girlfriend has left their phone behind at your house. Do you check their messages? Nah, dude, that's rude as shit. Do you believe in survival of the fittest? That it's natural for those who are weaker to be picked off? From a... From like a... Darwinian standpoint, yeah, I guess. I mean, it's not a strength, triumphs all, might makes right thing, but Darwin. On your days off, do you prefer going out to relax it or for going out to relaxing home? No, I want to play video games. Do you think that two against one is fair? Uh, I mean, if it's Dio, yes, but everyone else, no. Do you do you ever find yourself thinking women are scary? I mean, to a certain extent, a certain extent. Also, I have to say no to the two at once because otherwise I break the entire JoJo's Bizarre Adventure storyline. You gotta stay on the sidelines and comment because Speedwagon's not around anymore. You think that people are fundamentally evil by nature? Nah. Are you uninterested in gambling? I kinda. Do you have a hard time saying no? No! Yes. I think I've got it. Your stand is... Oh. Miracles. Miracles. Range long. Control type. The stand has the power to manipulate the subconscious using bioelectricity. It can make the user invisible to others and induce hallucina hallucinated pain. It can also deflect attacks back at foes. That sounds awesome! You are antisocial and have trouble fitting in. However, you are honest and don't put on a show of yourself for others. You have a lot of self-loathing and a bit of persecution complex. <laughs> uh, it's, I mean, unfair. You hate the things you don't understand. That's not true. I love not knowing things. And take things as, as fact without looking into them. None of this is true. Well, I mean, the first part kind of was. However, when it comes to protecting your loved ones, you can accomplish tremendous feats of strength. Oh, and before I forget, would you mind telling me your name? Oh, yeah, my name is Kevin. And it, oh, alright, that's that's right, I, have to, I can't use my keyboard, this is not one of those. My name is Kevin. This is Kevin. How's it going? Kevin. Do I get to use a last name? My nickname is... It's me, um... Icons, of course. Apparently, I'm, I'm very sad all the time, so I'm, I'm frowny face. Oh, wait, no, wait, that's not right. Is there not... Okay. How do I get backspace? I don't know. I'm frowny face. Are you... Uh, uh, is Abdul my... My professor? Which of these most closely matches your appearance? Uh... Which one is which? I'm not the chubby guy. I'm guessing left is average, distinct is Josuke, and short is Koichi. I gotta write my boy Koichi. I see. So that's how you look. Here's a close-up. Although it's just my interpretation. You're looking right at me, dude. Do you have a catchphrase? If so, tell it me now. 
Uh, yo, what do you think my catchphrase is, Avdol? How does... Muda Muda. I'm Kevin, but my friends call me- Oh, he's so sad. I'm the 7th stand user. Hold on, wait a minute. I'm not going to be Dio. Um... So it's a stand cry, then. And my stand isn't great at fighting. It's just kind of invisibility. So... How do I, how do, I do a space? Uh, j underscore. Get this the capital. Ignore me! There we go. How's this sound? Ignore me! That's great. It's the best. It's the best stand cry anyone's had. <gasps> was I dreaming? Even for a dream that was strange. Sorry to say, but that was no dream. <gasps> it's coming from my the computer speakers. Who are you? The time to introduce myself has most likely passed. But nonetheless, call me Steel. I'm the one who granted you your stand. You shot me in the face with an arrow when I was sleeping? There's no need to be afraid. I've been searching for someone like you. A courageous youth who desires a special power. I have given you what you seek. Uh, are you a burglar? And I have no idea what you're talking about. Where are you hiding? If you don't believe me, try calling out the name of your stand from before. It will manifest before your very eyes. S stand? That's, that's ridiculous. Quit changing the subject. I promise everything will make itself clear if you just give it a try. Do it. But miracles! If if that's all, then please leave. There's there's nothing to steal in my house. <gasps> you can see it, I presume. That is your stand. S stand? In layman's terms, it's a superpower. The apparition standing in front of you is an extension of your body, so to speak. Generally, each span has a, stand has a unique special ability. These abilities can flout the laws of physics and defy the imagination. Your stand will surely become an indispensable ally. But, but why are you doing this? And what exactly are you? I'm simply the remnant of a man who was killed by one of these stands. Think of me like you would a pre-recorded message. Then, what, what do you want with me? I want to change this world's future. As a unit, you and I can do that. No, we must do that. At any and all cost. You, with your newfound stand, must take out a certain person. This in insidious vampire, Dio. It will be dangerous. Dio has assassins, assassins everywhere. They don't take well to those who defy them. I am. As long as Dio lives, they will continue to hunt you down. Go with caution. Wait, slow down. Are you asking me to risk my life? What makes you think I'm going to let myself get involved into something that dangerous? Haven't you heard, with great power comes great responsibility? This is simply a consequence of the things you yourself wished for. You wished for power, so I granted your wish. However, when certain people feel threatened by those whose strength approaches their own... I, I can't believe this! You're the one who did this to me, so shouldn't your life be the one that's on the line here? Seems like a load of bullshit. I'll say it one more time. You are the one who wished for a stand. And you are the one who called it forth. If you left Dio to his own devices, your friends and family would be at risk. Even if you weren't aware of it, you knew you needed a protector. This is your destiny. I'm just helping you move it along. Now, head to school. Just like you would any other day. Okay, is I need to find out what the cancel key is. Unless I just don't have it yet. Wait. I won't be able to communicate with you like this. Take this radio with you. Thanks. However, you whenever you want to change your equipment, tactics, or catchphrase, call me. Also, if you press shift while on the menu on the map, I can update you on current situations and give you instructions on what to do next. Feel free to call me anytime. Take care. I'm very lonely and dead. 
Hmm. I switched the radio. Ye nah. Okay, cancel. Cancel key. It's not delete. I don't know. Hey, mom and our sister. Oh, you're up early. Do you have a date? Haha, <laughs> just kidding, you're a loser. Hey, you did. Well, well, look who's up early. What's the occasion? Hey, Mom. I didn't notice you existed. I thought you were a piece of, like, kitchen utensil. You sh should you get you should get going. I don't want to hear you scream. I'm late and storm out of the house again. I don't do that. Oh, it's zero works. Okie dokie. Okay, so that's bad. I'm going to need to change a, a OBS setting because my hotkey for uh, push to mute is zero. So that's not going to work. Um. That. Okay, there. Accomplish my task. Okay, there. This is, there's that. Give me this. There's a first aid kit. Yes. Wait, is there? Okay, I have to see if this. Is, it's acting like Pokemon at a certain point. I want to see if I can get something out of my PC. It's the newest model, a 16-bit PC, 99801. Even sends and receives emails. Put on the radio. Nah. Is a game console. It's an NES. Would you like to play F Mega Mini? Yeah. Oh, this is a this is the correct choice. This is a basic racing game. F Mega. All right. Yeah. <laughs> this one. This is a basic racing game. However, whoever reaches the end is quickest is the victor. Various traps. Move car with arrows. During play, the decision key becomes the dash button. If you take damage with dashing, you'll spin out of control. Okay, let's do it. Let's play F Mega. I don't have It's a Baseball. There's a go. Set difficulty. Hard. Super hard. I'm going to have to play this for my life. That's. Oh. Stop. I'll dash all day. You can't stop me. This is weird. Nope. Nope. Ow! Screw you! <laughs> I'm very bad at this. It's almost like I, maybe I should have played it before. Like, it went super hard. But Darby's brother will kill me! I'm bad at this game. Oh, I'm, I'm... Okay. Okay, can I get out of this? Opponent reached. Thank you, opponent. Oh, never playing that again. More of a it's a baseball guy. Don't go in there. Plant. Wait, is this the door? Oh, I can go upstairs. There's probably stuff up there. Yeah. There's nothing up here. What is this? This this had this storage? They have stored desk and tables in the attic? Not certainly not a second floor. They're not using it for anything. Hey, how's it going? It becomes a gr- oh. This isn't gonna end well for you, I'm afraid. Skills. Artificial resurrection skill. Revives an ally. Oh. I can I can already resurrect people. Bro, oh, rescuation. Um I can't read. Raise present. Makes the enemy unable to send your present. Make presence weaker to distract enemies. Stone toss. <laughs> I'm gonna become invisible. Oh. 
I'll just kill you then. Ow. Should we continue? <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. I have no- I have money that I stole from that guy. Poison. I don't think I need anything. Hey, are you gonna fight me too? I heard there was an explosion here a while back. I still haven't found any corpses or survivors. Oh. Huh. The book. Stand notes. Open stand notes. It seems that whoever used to live here was gathering info about different stands. My own stand, remote controlled, takes the form of countless levitating hands can turn memory fragments into physical records. Allows dolls and mannequins to be controlled from a distance by attaching a strand of hair. Does not transmit damage to the user. An automatic stand that takes the form of many large insect-like entities called green hornets. I see. I see. A stand scientist. Average stand user, but a brilliant scientist. There's a book on the floor. Sure. It's that bow and arrow. That's the cause of this whole catastrophe. It has to be... It has the power to awaken latent stand powers. I tested it any many times to no ill effect, but that day was different. You've never killed anybody with it? It's pretty rare to not kill somebody with it. An unbelievable thing occurred. The arrow, arrow broke apart, scattering pieces of it everywhere. I don't remember how it happened. It was almost like it shattered on its own. That was when it all started. Bizarre accidents began occurring around town, one after another. Things that seemed like they couldn't possibly have been the work of human beings. Then today I received a visitor. He too was a stand user. The man introduced himself, then, in a detached tone of voice, began to say, I apologize, but you know too much about my powers. I came here to dispose of you. That man is a murderer! Using my stand, Dan Pen, I was able to just... Describe my final thoughts in this diary. That Darrow was that Darrow that Arrow was caused has caused many new stand users to appear, and so has sparked many disasters. This is my penance for my irresponsible deeds. Watch yourself from now on. Watch out for stand users. That was a there was a small notebook hidden behind the last page. Got bizarre memo. Oh, what does that do? I can write short notes in it. Oh, that's just interesting. That's interesting, so I don't forget things. That could be very useful for someone such as me. Hi, do you want to fight me? If you enter through here, you can get into school without being spotted by the faculty. Hell yeah! Wait, what? Where? Here? Oh, this is a school. That would make sense. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I have magic abilities. Oh, what are you doing here, Kevin? I thought you weren't in any clubs. Yeah, just running errands. Running errands, errands such as going to school. Hi. I saw Jotaro headed, headed... Oh, it's the Jotaro school. Headed towards the nurse's office. It looked like he was bleeding. Did he get into a fight? Oh, where's the nurse's office? I need to fulfill my destiny. As being a self-insert character. That's better. Jotaro, where are you? Oh, here it is. Hi, Jotaro. Is Kakyoin doing that thing again? Jojo, look at all these injuries. Did you get into a fight again? Take off your hat, you troublemaker. No, is, why is he just called Dylan? No way! When have you ever seen Jojo come out of fight with injuries, Doc? <laughs> yeah. Oh-ho! Fine, then. I believe you just fell clumsily. I'm going to cut your pants off so I can treat your wounds. Quit messing around. I'll take them off. It's a waste to cut them. Oh-ho-ho-ho! I didn't peg you as this stingy type. This was creepy when it happened in the show. I'll take your temperature and prove you're both faking sick. I have a cold. Please let me go home. 
It must be Jojo. Jotaro Kujo. Steel. This is where it begins. This is the start of your struggle against fate. Hey, don't notice me, Jotaro, please. The hell is this? Today, I will kill you with my stand. Kakyoin. <laughs> Kakyoin? That's that guy that tripped me. Doc, what's going on? Oh, there goes the murdering again. Whip, whip, whip. Is that blood dripping? The nurse started waving the pen around like a thermometer. What am I- what am I doing? I'm shaking the thermometer so I could check your temperatures, of course. Doc, that's a pen. That's not a thermometer. A pen? Are you saying this is a pen? This right here? The nurse's eyes are glazed over and she's foaming from the mouth. She's clearly unstable. Does this look like a pen to you? What a bunch of idiots! What are you? What do you think that this is a pen? Why don't you take a closer look? And here he is. Now he's dead. Now he's bl at very best blind in one eye. She, she stabbed him in the eye. Jojo! Don't tell me you think this is a pen too! Shit. You don't, do you? Alright, here it is. Oh my god. This, this isn't normal woman's strength. I definitely saw something creep out from behind the beds. It must have been a stand. I can't risk hurting her. I'll have to find some way to fight back. Oh, Jotaro lost immediately. Got any skills you got? Cloud yell. Do it. This isn't this isn't what you should be doing, but do it. Damn it! <laughs> I have to find another way by punching her repeatedly. Then her stop breathing. <laughs> Oh, I suppose that's fair. I suppose that's fair. That is fair. No! No! You didn't! Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, Speedwagon, I know everything. Start the game, please. <laughs> that's delinquent. <laughs> He's going nuts. Okay. It's another way of fighting that. Oh, it does tell me. Failure conditions, nurses, nurses, Okay, fight. Guard, so I can figure things out. Ow. Scream at her. Wasn't very effective. No. Said Kakuan. This cut on my leg was also done by that guy. That's right! You, you son of a bitch. My stand has infiltrated this woman's body. If you attack it, you'll be hurting her too, Jojo. You, who are you? My stand name is Haravant Green. It's the same type of stand as your friend Avdol's. Th there it is. The stand. I can't you didn't you didn't put it on the screen, so I can't see it. Thanks. I want to see how- I actually like Harrow and Green's design. I may be human, but I've pledged my loyalty to that man. That is why I've come to kill you. <laughs> the nurse thrust the pen into Jotaro's cheek. Just then, Jotaro saw the stand inside of her mouth. There it is. It's her in your mouth. Oh, I don't have to do anything. I said to delay and scream at her. Good. Nurse gave Jotaro- The Jotaro gave the nurse a kiss. Then Jotaro- Pulled the Kakyo and stand out from inside with his teeth. I forgot about that. What? I won't let you harm this nurse. Now that I've pulled it out, it's clear to me that this is just a pathetic stand that can't do anything but control people. And it's all green and covered in lines. Looks like a melon to me. You're gonna regret pulling it out, Jojo. Quit the act. I can see the marks from your fingers on your forehead. If I press it down any harder, your skull will explode like a melon. I'll just add a little more force, enough to make you pass out. 
That way, you won't resist when I take you to see my grandfather. I'm sure he'll be happy to see you, and he'll also be eager to hear all of you about your friend Dio. Oh no. What's this? Green liquid coming out from the stand's hands. Take this. My stand had a fund greens. Don't you dare move, Kakuoin. Oh, I, there it is. Emerald Splash! Yay. Launches hundreds of green gems from its hands. Uh, <coughs> bastard. This is my stand's special technique. I call it the Emerald Splash. Looks like my stand's projectiles blew a hole in your chest. I imagine your internal organs are in pretty sorry shape right now. Hers too. Uh, and then her started bleeding from the head and collapsed. What? But I worked so hard to make sure she didn't die. I told you, my attack how to find my attack how to find green, and you'll hurt her too. My stand may have much longer range than yours, but it hates wide open spaces. If something tries to remove it, it gets angry. It'll claw at the insides and latch on. That's why she was injured. He does he never does this again. You did this to her, Jojo. It's all your fault. If you just let me kill you, this nurse wouldn't have had to suffer. Now, you over there. Looks like you've seen what Emerald Splash can do. Are you a stand user too? Yeah. I don't know who you are. But any false moves and I'll end up in... You'll end up just like these two. <laughs> it's my turn. He's one of those people I told you about. One sent to erase those who stand in Dio's way. Okay, so I'm just... just I, Jotaro's got this, though. Standing up, are we? Unfortunately, in that state, you're about as capable as a punching bag. You stand up just to be knocked down again. Yeah, okay. Have fun with the auras. I, Jotaro Kujo, am often called a delinquent student. When I get in a fight, I'll pummel the other guy until he bleeds. I've even hospitalized people. I've given half-assed show-off teachers such a scare that they never show their face at school again. And when I don't like the food at a restaurant, I'll leave without paying the bill. Man, Jotaro, you're so cool. But even so, I still know nauseating evil when I see it. Evil is when you crush the weaker under your heel, using them for your own gain. Even women! And you match the description to a T. Neither the victim nor the justice system would know about your stand. That's why... I will judge you. Evil? Now, there, there you are wrong. The only evil one here is the loser. The path of he who survives is the one who's just. No matter what methods he uses, justice, belo justice belongs to the last one standing. Take this! Emerald Splash, again! Yeah, shoot. I don't... I don't do something, he'll be killed! Yeah, just... I don't want to have to do this again. Fight. Did you say the loser is the evil one? In that case, you're definitely evil. God, Jojo, Jojo is so lame. But he's so cool at the same time. My stand. My stand? Jojo and Kevin... Our stands will be the judge! <laughs> Jotaro's is really accepting of my help. You. Make one move and you'll meet the same fate as him. Looks like you won't be heeding my warning. Fine then, die along with him, fool. Hey, Jotaro. Oh, that's me first. Alright, well, I can turn invisible. Yeah, I don't have enough health to... I'll just... I'll just, I'll just, I'll just turn invisible. Yeah. You don't, you don't know I, I'm here. You got this, Jotaro. You did it the first time. Fine. He went flying! <laughs> Rest of the wall. <laughs> Built in a strange aura. Kakuin is, is. I'm invisible now. Murder him. It's just Kakuin. This is fine. You're already looking pretty messed up there, buddy. 52. I had a fun barrier. Metro Frozen Fear? Come on, dude. Do I have anything to help with that? I do not. Nope, just keep hitting him. I froze up now. So much. I'm gonna I'm gonna go invisible real quick. D please don't kill me, I have five health. 
Kakuin is causing way more trouble than I would have expected. I always kind of saw him as a chump, to be honest. There we go. To be continued. Do I still get XP even though I died? What? What amazing power! Well, that was a waste of- that was a waste of time. Children got busted up too. Good thing a stand wasn't much. Still, I think I might be getting more violent. I was in a bind there, thanks. But you, you have a stand! Looks like everyone's got a stand these days. You don't look the part, but you're not another one of Dio's followers, are you? Yeah, I'm- I am not one, yes. A comedian, huh? Okay, that's all right. If you were really Dio's minion, you wouldn't pass up the chance to kill me while I was wounded. Or let me subdue Kakuin. Looks like the nurse will be fine as long as she gets treatment. I end up making a pretty big commotion, though. Guess I'll skip school today. You come too! We're gonna get some info about Dio out of this guy. If it's the last thing we do. Yeah, I'll just skip school. It's fine. And in fairness, I did watch a nurse stab a guy in the eye. Just now, Jotaro's thinking about me at school. I felt it. It's the bond between mother and son. I wasn't thinking about you. Yeah. Yeah. Jo Jotaro, when the world happened, who are these people? He's he's bleeding. Did you do something? It's none of your business. I'm looking for Gramps. It's your pain to find anyone in a house this big. Is he in the tea room? Yeah, I think Avdol's there too. Good. Here, Kevin. Hold Kakuin while I talk to them. This is, this would have been my reaction, yeah. What? Me? But I'm not even as tall as him. You're annoying. Wait, is this not real? Jotaro, what could possibly be going on that you can't talk to your own mother about? Don't make me worry like this. I know that you're a nice boy deep down. He's really not. Hey. Yes? You don't look like your usual self. You feeling okay? Eh. Yay. Fine, thank you. He really does care. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you maybe a friend of Jotaro's? I mean, we just met. Oh, I see. That's too bad. You know, despite appearance, he's actually a very nice boy. Give him a chance, won't you? No. This is, an, this is an alliance of convenience. I'm sorry. It's too late. There's nothing we can do for him. He'll die in a matter of days. No. That guy who tried to kill me. Ugh. Jotaro, this isn't your fault. Look, this man has already pledged his loyalty to Dio, and do you know why? It's because of this. Joseph pushed Kakuin's hair aside, revealing a withering flesh bud on his forehead, which we had still have no idea how he knew about in the first place. What is this thing? It looks like a spider. It... it almost looks alive. That's a flesh bud, forged from Dio's cells. It's burrowed inside, right, way into the body of the head, of the forehead. Mm-hmm. Tiny as it may be, it reached deep in enough inside his brain to influence his thoughts and feelings. Just like one of Hitler's supporters. Just like a member of a cult. This boy is a slave to Dio in mind and body. Did they mention Hitler in this scene? I don't think they did. Dio's charisma is such that Kakuin will unquestionably follow his orders to kill us. So, in other words, he's, he's brainwashed. Yes, I suppose you could say that. Why not just operate on? If it were only, if it were only that easy, the spores has a mind of its own, and if it so much as twitches when we try to pull it out, he'll suffer permanent brain damage. Controlling his thoughts and feelings—that's just like my stand. It is. I didn't put, I didn't put that together actually. Jojo, let me tell you about something that happened four months ago when I was in Cairo. Flashback. When I met him. Dio. I mean, it wasn't that eventful, Abdul. You kind of just ran away. I am a fortune teller. And you may or may not know, I'd set up, as you may or may not know, in my shop of bazaar at night. I was night of full moon. Then I saw him quietly observing me from atop the stairs. He glared at me so coldly that it felt as if he was reading into my thoughts. 
With his golden hair and pale, almost translucent skin, he was emanating an inhuman sense of humor. I had already heard of Mr. Joestar about Dio, the man who had been pulled up from the ocean, as I recognized him as such. Wait, recognized him as such the moment I laid eyes on him. You! You're no run of the mill human, are you? I can sense that you possess a special power. I'd be very happy if you were to demonstrate it to me. It's the worst Dio voice in history, but fine. That's when I knew he was one to be feared. The moment he spoke, my heart was calm. Too calm. A dangerous kind of calmness. So I panicked. Ah! I was so calm, I panicked. I ran for the hills. The thoughts of fighting him was never once throughout, went through my mind. I thanked my lucky stars that I had recognized him as Dio, and as quickly as I could, I escaped through the window. I knew my way around the labyrinth bazaar. So I had the good fortune to evade him. Good work, Abdal. You successfully ran away. If I hadn't, I'd have ended up just like this boy. I would use my stand to betray my friends at his beck and call. It's just... And just like this boy, his brain would have been consumed by the flesh bud and he'd be dead within a couple years. Dead? Not so fast. Kakyoin's not dead yet. I'm gonna do a cool thing. What are you doing? I'll pull it out with my stand. Oh, there he is. There's, there's, there's Star Platinum. Jotaro, don't. Don't do it. Look at the part of the flesh bud that's outside of the brain. There's a reason why even the most, the world's most skilled surgeons can't remove it. The flesh bud extended a tentacle and burrowed into Jotaro's hand. Damn. It's gotten into your arm. Hurry, Jojo. Let go of him. It'll invade the brain of anyone who dares to remove it. The, the tentacle. At that speed, it'll reach his brain in seconds. Yeah. That's... Never did that. Snap. Kakarin opens his eyes. You... You bastards! Don't move, Kakarin. If you flinch, your brain is toast. Burn. It's... Let go, Jojo. It's already reached your face. Wait, Abdal. My grandson has grown. Even as his body is being invaded, look at him. He's completely calm. And his stand, too. Its movements are as precise as a machine's. So, this is what Jotaro's stand is capable of. The flesh bud was pulled out of Kakuin's forehead. Hooray! He's done it! I'm not reading that. In the same instant, Jotaro's stand pulled the flesh bud out of his arm. Overdrive. I... I... You did it, buddy. You did it. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> Joseph incinerated the flesh bud with his ripple. Why? Why did you put your own life at risk to save me? Well, to be honest, I'm not so sure myself. I had the burden of a protagonist in that moment. I had to do what had to be done. I could see right through you, Jotaro. Oh, she's so happy. It's gotten pretty late. Why don't you stay the night with us? There's no telling what Dio's underlings are up to out there. And thanks for helping Jotaro. I don't think he'd properly thank you, so let me do it on his behalf. So, is it true that you've only recently discovered your stand as well? Uh, when were you born, kid? Do you... who's your mom? Maybe? You got a star on your neck? And that dream you're talking about, with Abdal and that strange voice, seems pretty hard to believe. But you don't seem like one of Dio's minions, so I'm not too worried. It seems that for whatever reason, stand users are popping up everywhere. But I digress. Let's both get some sleep. School is out for summer, so we can talk all we want tomorrow. I'm sure my parents will be totally fine with me just sleeping in a random stranger's house without telling them. Yay. I should, I should really save. Yeah, whatever. I did it. Good work, Kevin. This tile set really confuses me. Where is Joseph? 
Jojo is right. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Oh, look who's up. I skipped that. By the way, have you seen Holly? I've been looking for her all morning. Oh, I have to, I have to be the one who discovers that she is dying. Mrs. Jotaro's mom? Where are you? I have no sense of the layout of this house. Hey, Abdel. How's it going? Morning. Did you dream about me last night as well? <laughs> but you know, yesterday was definitely the first time I've ever seen you. Guess I just... Guess it's just a mystery. Or perhaps a sign. Oh, there she goes. Miss Holly! She's... She's running a high fever. Is she ill? This is... It can't be. Pardon me! Abdul pulls down Miss Holly's shirt, revealing a plant-like stand growing from her back. I can't believe it. My hand passes right through it. This is definitely a stand. Holly's stand is awakened as well, but this fever... The stand is harming her. I thought that Mr. Joestar and Jojo were the only ones affected by Dio's curse. Thinking Holly was the exception, I relaxed. No, no. I only thought I could relax. It seems that all the all those with Joestar blood flowing through their veins are susceptible. Stands are manipulated by the user's fighting spirit, but Holly doesn't have an ounce of aggression in her entire body. She's so sweet and gentle, she can't control it. That's why it's hurting her. Uh, this is terrible. If this continues, she'll be... It'll kill her. No. Jotaro is silent, but his lips are quivering. My... My... My worst fears... have been confirmed. My... My daughter... has... has a stand. I knew that she wouldn't have the power to fight Dio's curse. S say it already. S say you have a plan. There's no way. The only way, we have to find Dio and kill him. If we do that, his curse will fade, probably. But I can't determine his location just from my spirit photography. Oh no! It's horrible. He has, he has to have left some kind of trail, said me and not Joseph. But even our stands combined, mine, Kevin's, and Jotaro's, don't have that kind of range required to conduct a search. And if that didn't make things hard enough, we l he lives in complete darkness. Because of that, it's impossible to make out his location using Joseph's ability. We've tried analyzing the photo with all kinds of high-tech gadgets, but to no effect. Hey, I just might know a way. Just maybe, I might know a way to figure out where he's hiding. Use your special eyes, Star Platinum. Do it. How are they going to do a fly with this kind of pixel art. My stand noticed something behind Dio. If it's pre precise enough to extract that flesh bud, it should be precise enough to sketch it. I mean, it's more a skill than it is a reflex, but okay. Jotaro's stand sketched out a single fly. It's a fly. A fly was buzzing in the air behind him. Wait, I, I recognize this fly. Nile Wee Fly. Mostly found by banks of Egyptian Nile. Highest population density is in the shade of the Aswan Dam, where it preys on livestock. Egypt! He's in Egypt, and it has to be somewhere close to Aswan. So, he's in Egypt after all. When do you depart? I'm going with you. Kakyoin. I was invaded by that parasite three months ago, when I was on a trip to the Nile with my family. That's where I met Dio. For whatever reason, he must be reluctant to leave Egypt. Why do you want to come with us? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. That is highly suspicious. I wouldn't be here if not for you. That's really all there is to it. Jojo, as a fortune teller, allow me to bestow a name upon your stand. These are tarot cards. I'm going to draw one at random. The divine, then define your name stand. Your name's Stand, yes, and Ability. 
The Star. I've got it! Your name's- your Stan's name is Star Platinum. Now, we must go, for Holly's sake. Kevin, this isn't your fault, your fight, and I don't intend to coerce you into coming with us. But we could use your power, even though I did nothing in the fight except die. The power of stand users with the courage to help those in need. I think I may be destined- it may be destined that we met with us. You met with us. What do you say, Kevin? Will you lend us your strength? Hmm. But I refuse. I mean, this is true. I'll say it. No. No need to be humble. We need you. You have the makings of a powerful stand user. Do you, do you think so? I really doubt it'll be of any help. But I might as well come along. I can't thank you enough, Kevin. I look forward to getting to know you from here on out. I I'm sorry for everything that happened earlier. Maybe I could make it up to you somehow, somewhere down the line. I don't think so. It sorry, I don't think you'd end up getting wrapped up in all this. If things get nasty out there, then you're free to go back. I, I don't know if I can be of any use, but I can't forgive Dio for what he's done. I want to help somehow. Jojo, at Jojo, can you just say words instead of ellipses every time? You're a dumbass who sticks their nose where it doesn't belong. I'm curious to get to know you, Kevin. <laughs> this is the most self-insert thing ever. I'm glad I named him Kevin. That way he has no relation to me. Even though it's only on her back at the moment. Soon it will grow, constricting her entire body. It's all, It'll also inflict various symptoms such as fever and eventually a coma. I know a lot about this at all. One from which she will never awaken. These doctors from the Speedwagon Foundation will tend to her 24 hours a day. However, since normal humans can't see stands, they can't do much. None of us can do anything for her. I've watched countless people die by their own stands in the past. All right, yeah, I forgot about that. But for Holly, there's hope. As long as we get to Dio and take him out within 40 days, her stand will disappear. She'll be saved. But only her stand will disappear. All of you will keep your sweet superpowers. My, my goodness, what happened to me? To think I collapsed with a fever. But now I've taken medicine. I, I feel so much better. You're lying. You're lying. You startled me, Holly. Try not to give me a heart attack. <laughs> right, sorry, Papa. Now, where were we? Right, Jotaro. W what do you want for dinner? Don't move. Just go back to sleep. Uh, uh, I mean, don't overexert yourself until your fever goes away. <laughs> You're right. Everyone's so nice to me when I'm sick. I feel if I guess a flu every now and then isn't so bad. Just as she finished her sentence, Holly shut her eyes and laid back down. <gasps> Holly! She passed out again. She... Even with that high fever, she tried to reassure us that things were fine. She definitely knows what's going on. She didn't say it, but she noticed the stand on her back. She's hiding it from us. My kind, beautiful daughter. She didn't want us to make us worry about her. We'll... We'll save you no matter what, Holly. You just relax and don't worry about us. You'll be well again soon enough. Just stay strong. Jojo's mother. Kakyoin, don't get any ideas. Miss Holly is the kind of person who makes you feel calm just by being near her. If I were ever to fall in love, I'd want it to be with a woman like her. I want to protect her. If only to see her smile again. Hmm. That's suspicious, Kakyoin. Kind of creepy. We should get going. Kevin? I imagine you have many things to do before you depart. You should head home for now. I imagine it won't be easy explaining things to your family, but if you just tell them you're vacationing with a friend, eh, it should be fine. Come back when you're ready. Oh, okay. Who's this guy? Kujo residence, huh? What a huge estate! And you must be their son! Am I right? Not even close. You're a fool. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go vacation with people that I've never introduced you to. Is that okay? 
I see, I see. Uh, be careful. I'm not sure where you're headed or what you're planning to do, but you take care of yourself. Thanks. Here's an ointment. I already took those. Wait, something for my stomach ache. Medicine for a weak constitution. Yes. That, that's right. I had a feeling you'd say that, so I put some cold medicine in there. Don't push yourself. Oh, thanks. You just resupply the first aid kit every time? Thank you. Yes. See you guys later. Does this guy have anything to say? Uh, current situation. What do you want me to do? What a pitiful circumstance. Destiny can be mercilessly cruel. It seems that if you don't defeat Dio in 40 days, Holly's life will be at risk. You must hurry. Also, do keep in mind that resting at, at the ho hotel or in the bedroom at home will cause time to pass. It's a long way to Egypt from here, so there's little time to waste. Think carefully before you rest and use your days- Oh, there's, there's an actual date system. I see. That's good. No, oh, I... This is a really bad plan. Oh no, you punched me. I'm hitting you with magic, like psychokinetic powers. They could just they could just speed this music up to like 1.5 times the speed that it would That'd be great. Hi, who are you? It's a puppet stand controlled by one of Dio's underlings. Oh no. Oh no. But I'm not a I'm a support stand. Uh, that's fine. They're weak. Get out of here, you Russian doll. Stop. Everything is fine now. I got an FF sports drink. Sizzle has learned. Z Wait, Sizzle was learned and Sleep was learned. Nice. How big is this place? It's quite large. No, it survived. I guess I could try to sizzle, see what that is. Stop hitting me. Sizzle. Inflict fire damage. Uh, for long range. Yeah, I'll try it. It was amazing. Good. Yay. Hello. Are you also evil? It's a puppet stand. Oh, no. Oh, that's creepy. Please die. Stop tripping me. How do you trip someone who's already on the ground, anyways? Aha. Too fast. Oh. I am dizzy. From being tripped. Please just burn to death. Thanks. Creepy mannequins. Echo. Echo's high was found. Okay. A desperation attack. Is that Echoes as in the stand that doesn't exist yet? It's Echoes High. Makes tasty res oh, oh, nice. It's tasty resounding your body. Hi. Hello, normal human. I have an a I have a space ghost. Are you also going to try to kill me? Whee! Thank you. The restaurant. Oh, this is where we met. Right, I guess let's go back. This is not the way. Joe's live? Who knows? I think it's up here. Wait, 
is that is that the guy from part four? It looks like his sprite. It looks like what I would make his sprite for. Short hoodlum. What are you looking at, Scram? Probably. Probably is. I don't remember his name. I just remember his, his stand locking people. Because he's a jerk. Is there a map? There's... Well... Well, sorry, Holly. I got lost on my on my hometown streets, and I couldn't save you. It happens. Where do I live? Hello. This is my house. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I hate this town. This place sucks. I don't know if I should be grinding in this or not. Hopefully not. So... It seems they've found me. Looks like they're coming to Egypt. <laughs> Joseph and Jotaro, is it? Inside the plane departing for Japan. Destination Egypt. How is this going to be dealt with? Whoa! plane is made of boxes. Whoa! Just now I sensed that Dio was watching us. Yeah. Watch out! I have a feeling we might have some unwanted company aboard the plane. Like that bug. What was that? Uh. Uh. It's... It's a rhinoceros beetle. No. It's a stag beetle. Uh, it's somewhere in that seat. A bug inside the plane. That's definitely not... It's pretty normal. Where... Where is it? The other passengers are sleeping soundly. It has to be hidden somewhere among the other passengers. Abdul, is it a stand? I... I don't think we'd be detected by Dio this quickly. A stand that looks like a bug. It might be. Jojo! That's right... By your face, it's huge! Stag beetle. Disgusting. Let me take care of this. Be careful! I've heard of a bug. I've heard of a bug like stand before. One that likes to tear out and eat human tongues. The stag beetle can dodge all your attacks. It was pathetic. I can't believe it. Not even Star Platinum, which can stop a bullet in midair, can land a single hit. There's no doubt now that bug's a stand. Where's the one controlling it? Shoot! It's attacking! Oh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot for that. The beetle attacked. The bug extended a needle and went straight for Star Platinum's tongue. Shit! That was so close. Star Platinum stopped the needle with his teeth. He did it! He stopped the needle! Okay, you're going a little going a little extreme with that. But one second later and his tongue would have been torn to shreds. This stand is no pushover. I know this stand. It's the tower card. It symbolizes mayhem, destruction, interruption of journeys. Its name is Tower Grey. I have heard talk of this stand before, but I didn't know it was working for Dio. It specializes in accidents, train wrecks, plane crashes, the works. He likes to make his killings look natural. This stand is responsible for the plane crash in England that took 300 lives last year. And now he's on Dio's side. Order. 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 No, oh, no. Speed required to evade that dual-handed barrage. Unbelievable. <laughs> you could have a gun on me at point blank and it'd still be useless. Not that bullets can do anything to stands anyways. Damn. Who's controlling the stand? They have to be somewhere on this plane. Where there's a stand, the user can't be too far. Except for, I feel like Tower Grey would be uh, a pretty long-range remote type, but, you know, whatever. They don't know that yet. Yeah. It, sli it slipped away again. Just moved over there. 
<laughs> What's it planning? Wait, it can't be. Bingo! I got their tongues, and I'm planning on a massacre. The the passengers, the n the nerve of the bastard. Incinerate it. That's a bad idea. Wait, hold on a minute, Abdul. What's all the ruckus? Hmm. I'll head to the bathroom. Why are the walls all sticky? M M A. Huh? It's in blood. Back to sleep. Can't risk alarming the other passengers, causing a riot. Need to defeat this him discreetly. Abdul. Stan can't defeat it, but it'll hurt the other passengers too. It might even blow up the plane. We have to be careful. I can do it. My stand is crap, but I would imagine it's pretty fast. Alright, Kevin. Can't find. Sizzling. What you got, Kevin? Okay. Zip tie. Flash and Joseph. What even skills would you have? Hermit, Hermit purple. All right, do it. <laughs> He's got zoom punch. Nice. <laughs> Dodge out of the way. Hey, I the only one who did anything. That's not good. Uh, maybe this will work. Seems useful. Attack normally. Only one thing to do. We'll have to we'll have to use attacks that target all enemies in order to hit him. Okay. We have eight turns to stop him, otherwise the passengers' lives will be in danger. I see. Wasn't affected. Alright, so Sizzle only works on one. Why did that work? But this attacks all enemies. Does Jotro have one? No. No, he doesn't. Well, I just won't waste his ability and just attack uselessly. Stop! And Joseph probably doesn't have one. No, he does. There we go. Jotaro is the only one who's useless, and he's the one who deals with the problem. Just keep being useless, Jotaro. It's fine. You'll shine eventually. I believe in you. Stop. Oh, Jotaro hit him? Alright, because I froze him. That's fair. Yay! I did it. Or rather, Kakuin did most of it. Yay! That old guy's tongue was imprinted with the shape of a beetle. So that old man before was the culprit. <laughs> yes, disgusting stands have disgusting users, am I right? Hmm? Doesn't look like he was under the influence of a flesh bud. Tower of Grey is a stand that uses accidents to kill and steal valuables. He was probably bought out by Dio. Uh, that's odd. It seems to me as if the plane tilted on its side. Ah, oh, it went... Not just imagining it, it's definitely tilting. I would know, this has happened before. Sir, where are you going? That's the cockpit, it's in place only. Yeah, shut up. Sir? Move. Uh, uh oh, pardon me, it's... It's a crime for him to be shoving a young woman like that. However, it's an emergency, so please forgive his behavior. Okay! Oh, oh, well... They're, they're all they're all dead pilots have been cruelly murdered the, the pilots the tongues have been yanked out they must have been the damn beetle we're going down the controls are broken too we're gonna crash <laughs> my stand is the tower it symbolizes tragedies and interruption of journeys you'll never get to Dio even even you manage to survive the crash, you'll be 
thousands of miles from Egypt, even if. Uh, and when you continue, Dio's loyal servants will hound you 24 hours a day. He's enlisted stand users with powers beyond your wildest imaginations. And Dio's stand, it's the greatest of them all! Dio's stand will reign over this entire world, hence its name. You'll never reach Egypt alive! Oh. You guys are real professionals. Despite everything, you haven't screamed. Would have been a pain if you did. This old guy here is gonna make an emergency landing, so tell the passengers to brace for impact. We're counting on you. Uh, well, I've flown propeller planes before. Propeller planes. I, I don't know about this. But, you know, Jotaro, this is actually the third time I've been in a plane that ended up crashing. Isn't that weird? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I am never flying with you again. And they never did. He kept his word. And so the plane landed 35 kilometers off the coast of Hong Kong. Well, we'll be acting separately for the time being so as not to look conspicuous to the enemy. Meet us at the Jade Garden restaurant. Okay. Oh, I will save so I don't have to fight the bug again. What you got? Nah, I'm good. Miss Holly will die. I am aware. Do I have the magic JoJo ability to communicate with everyone all the time? Good. It's cool, but you'll probably think it's not much to look at compared to that word. Oh, you killed this guy. I saw a conspicuous looking guy wearing a hood earlier. When he said, right, rhinoceros, ro huge rocks started falling from the sky. I'm serious. You'd better not get involved with that guy. This is, uh, Stan, right now. Oh. Oh. I don't know what this is. You're not gonna believe this, but I've been seeing huge bees everywhere. But no one else can see them. It's so weird. Maybe I'm weird. Now the stand user, maybe? Hey, do you want to join? Oh, no. Why even try? Murder doll! Why? Why have you done this? Get a lot of F sports, sports strings. Have some Hong Kong world famous skewered fish balls? Just 30 G's a pop. No. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Okay. Excuse me while I kill these murder dolls, then I'll be right with you, sir. We can have our epic stand battle. Yeah, I'm gonna use desperation to Yay. Crack. Alright, what do you want? It's one of Dio's underlings! Oh. Martial arts. Master. Wait, does this guy not even have a stand? He just uses martial arts? It's kind of depressing. He's medium. All of my stuff is long range, though. Why keeps tripping me? That was easy. Maybe you should have sent an actual stand user. Can you stop, please? You murder puppets? Desperation attack. I should really make these dolls go to sleep. That'd help. Hey, do you have magic stand food? A trip to Hong Kong isn't complete without a taste of the famous Sea Way. Juicy rotisserie meat, it's just 200 each. No. Hi. 
Yeah, tell me what I'm supposed to be doing here. Day one. What a catastrophe! Who would have imagined you'd be attacked on a plane? But this is only the beginning! Dio will be in hot pursuit of your group as long as you present a threat. Now, a good time to hone your stand abilities. You wouldn't want to be dead weight. He warned that I sent two powerful stand users here. If you're lacking in strength, I'd stay well away from them. Alright, so grind is what you're saying. Fair enough. Hey, did you just spawn in that alleyway? Does that mean the guy who's making these dolls is in there? Well, I'd happily kill him. I mean, I would hit him and knock him out and not kill him. What's going on over here? There's nothing. It's just a spawn station. I don't want to fight you. I want to fight something. I want to fight someone with a little more grit. Like an ordinary human. Burn! Oh. There's so many! Imagine if this ha imagine if this was a part of the show and or the manga. Just every other scene slash panel fighting dolls. I mean, that's kind of what Phantom Blood was. Please leave me alone. I'm surrounded by puppets. Yeah. I just need to believe in myself more. Where is my SP shown? Oh, there it is. I have, I have 33. Kill all of them. Kill most of them. Good. Thank you for this. This is a true gift. The gift of murder. Where is the stand? Hello, sir. I don't know if you know this, but you don't stand a chance. Where's my sister? Thank you for the experience. Oh, what's this? Bugs. An automatic sting. Oh, oh, it's creepy. Please stay away from me. You, st you look too similar to a certain stand that killed a lot of people. Please stay away from me. Thank you. In the face, at least. Hey, bug. Ah, uh, green hornets. I don't know what to do. All out attack. Please. please. Am I gonna die? Oh no. I haven't been paying attention to my health. You and me, Green Hornet, medium distance. So proud. I'm saving a different slot because I don't know how many days will pass automatically, and I don't want Holly to die. I feel like that would be a failure failure state. Picks me up. Ah, good night's rest. Better? Plane, a plane crash! 
He really did, I tell yous. I don't think anyone would not believe that. There's a crashed plane over there. Yeah, I, er, never mind. Oh, well, that's kind of twisted. Do it. Influence the couple with your stand. What? What? Will? Will, will you marry me? I'm so happy. I've waited so long to hear those words. Kevin Stan gained some experience after watching the happy couple. I used a Jedi mind trick. Huh? What about it? You're Japanese, right? You're rich, right? Give me one gold. Okay. Oh. Nope. Nope. There's another dead guy. Hey, did you kill that guy? Where's that idiot husband of mine? That good for nothing. Can you stop jumping around? If you're gonna attack me, just attack me, jeez. No need to beat around the bush. A rain of punches. But he didn't even scream anything that sounded remotely similar to Aura. How could that be possible? Guy Dan Jai for sale. Crunchy, fluffy Guy Dan Jai. Want some? The $20 a pop. No. What do you got? There's been a real cracking down on unlicensed street merchants like me lately. Get it while it's hot, I guess. Ooh, what's this? I haven't fought you. Hey, kiddo, give me all your cash. No. No, I'm not going to do that. If you don't want my rhinoceros to show you a world of pain, you better hand it over. Okay, um, how about instead, you die? So you don't want to listen, eh? Then get ready. Taste my power. Get him, rhinoceros. Kevin created a freezing sensation. And he froze him successfully. Yeah, that's, that's a good ability. Now thaw him. Now. If I kill him, it stand dies, and he's just a normal human. There we go. Whoa! That was easy. I learned Buzz. Hey, I just killed you. I don't want to fight you again if that's the way this works. Eek! I'm sorry! I won't extort people anymore! I just got this special power, so I got carried away. <laughs> I'm really sorry, so please leave me alone. Yeah, you, you better run. Do you know who I am? Because I, I don't. Yeah, have a nice snack. Yeah, delicious. Where's that other guy who's killing people? Is it you? Whoa! Can't believe you took down Fru. Maybe you can take down that other guy there too. You might die though. Oh, is it Rohan? Yeah. <laughs> you may have no you may have noticed already, but stands are typically either material or immaterial. Material stands usually inhabit physical objects like dolls or vehicles. Damaging these objects will destroy the stand as well. Immaterial stands are incapable of physical attacks and appear translucent, like ghost. Material stands have less special techniques, but have higher attack and defense. Immaterial stands have lower stats, but they also have a larger arsenal of commands available to them. Take this into consideration during your battles. The road ahead will be much easier with careful planning. Thanks, Rohan. And thanks for not trying to turn me into your comic slave. Hmm. <laughs> it looks like... In the look in your eyes. I'm Utah. I work here as a bouncer, in between my travels. So what do you say? Would you like to test your strength? Yeah, sure. You seem like a reasonable guy. So you're the one who took down Fru. Another stand user, I presume. I think you'll find I'm a much tougher opponent than he. Prepare yourself! Yeah, but, I mean, I got pretty lucky. What does Buzz do? Electricity? Yes. I have all the elements. Saints! Kevin created zapping sensation. Ow. Okay, this might be bad. Oh, I went berserk. That's not good. Okay, uh, this was a really bad idea. Uh, freeze him or we're all going to die. Stop. 
ครับWhat do you mean, mid bosses? You mean like me and Fru? Pro? I don't know. Actually, now that I think about it, I've been seeing a lot of stand users around lately. Sh not sure what the cause is, but you're likely to encounter them wherever you go. Be careful not to bite off more than you can chew. You might want to bring a friend with you. That way, you'll both grow in your experience and strengthen your bonds and stuff. Thank you, helpful bandit man. Your stand was bullshit, though. You had two of them. What are you looking at? I want to talk to you. Okay. I'm invisible. Huh? I thought someone was here just now. Must have been imagining things. <laughs> Mom will never find out I stuck my secret savings in the dog's car. Oh, I can steal his money. Yeah, using my stand. To, for only material gain, yeah! It's like Diamond's Unbreakable. All of the episodes I didn't like. Which was, I mean, in fairness, there's only like three. So can you come here, please? No, I want this dog. I want this dog. Dog? Okay, I'm not stealing his money. I mean, that's not his dog. Fairness, I just saw a dog and assumed it was his. Hey. Would you like some kongi? You can't come to Hong Kong without trying this dim sum dish. We've got hot cola, too. No, thanks. Do you know where that guy lives? I want to steal his money. Otherwise, I'll leave everybody in the dust and just go back. What is this? What do you have items for me? Chinese Ted, using, using battle to gain SP. Doesn't tell me what most of these do. Joseph, Jotaro, where are you guys? Where are you guys hiding? I wanna, I gotta get going. I wanna go kill Dio. That guy's a jerk. Oh, there's a cat. Oh. Excuse me. Hello, sir. No! All the places to have engine trouble. Underlings. It's the Karate Man. GE copy. Oh. I'm assuming I would have to defeat them to progress, so it's probably over here. Supermarket. Yeah, these are pretty good. Oh no. That wouldn't make sense if it was her. Just look like they would use the sprite for a certain other JoJo. I saw I saw a silver haired stunner on the way. I wonder where he's headed. Who could it be? Yeah, he beat that guy. Whoa, I never seen Utah lose a fight. Hey, you, want to take over my job as bouncer? Oh, 
Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Where am I going? It's a 7 Eleven. Let me get out of my way. I'm trying to use this as a shortcut here, buddy. Something that has the potential to wipe out an entire group of tiny little nobodies, it's surprisingly cheap. Okay. You see, martial artists, this is just getting obnoxious now. Kind of depressing. Mm -hmm. Good work, buddy. So proud of you. This year. It's right. it looks unique. Man, have you seen the tram outside? I've never ridden one. Wonder what it's like. I guess that's a hint. No. I'll just walk. Hey, I killed those guys. Okay, never mind. Can drinks don't have a lot of nutritional value, but they restore as much health as a balanced meal. At least that's what my mom says. What's your deal? You're Japanese, but you look like hell. Bet you got mugged on the way here, didn't you? Oh, -hoo -hoo. Use food items in battle. Just be mindful. All right, but where are my friends? I know I said they said we'd be working as individuals, so as not to attract attention. But I mean, I did my duty of. Killing people. Hmm. What am I doing, radio? What a catastrophe. Okay, you already told me this. Dead weight. Okay, that doesn't tell me how to progress, though. I know how to level up. Who the heck are you? Who is this spastic little monkey? What? What the heck is this? Sir? I'm gonna have to ask you to stop? Sir? I caught him. It didn't do anything. It might just be a glitch. I don't know. I guess. Hi, kid. Hi, Mom Garden yet? It's cool. Okay. How do I get there, child? What am I supposed to do, Utah? Are you not, a, not used to stand battles yet? Whatever, here goes. Well, first of all, there are a lot of different types of stands. For example, my saint can fight separately from me and use its own judgment to determine what attacks to use. It's This trait comes in handy. For instance, I can attack while it heals, or we can pull off complex combination attacks. However, if its health drops below a certain point, it's no longer functional. Because of that, stands like mine are especially weak to poison and moves that inflict continuous damage. I'm still working on countermeasures. There are also stands that are attached to the user, and stands that are remotely controlled. But, I don't want to bore you. Uh, <laughs> uh not, 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 got nothing better to do, eh? Uh, alright then, listen. Some stands share their body with a host. 
These types are powerful physical attackers, but also no defensive, but almost no defensive capabilities. Because of this, they're the easiest stands to master. In addition, their base stats are very high. However, they're useless against far away opponents and cannot take a hit. They're also the opposite type independent stands that are completely separate and don't transfer damage to the user. To defeat them, you have to get at the person controlling it. These types can be controlled, difficult to control, however, this more likely barking our soldier than anything. Of course, if the user runs out of strength, his stand is rendered ineffective. But these stands can always recover as long as the user is unharmed. Because of that, they might even be the most dangerous types. One caveat is that they get weaker the more they regenerate. If you defeat enough of them, they won't be able to be a threat anymore. Try to keep mental notes of these traits as you fight different stands. I think preparation is the most important part of a battle. Thanks, Batman. Sir, I don't want to be here. You don't want me to be here either. You just don't know it. So I gotta get to a really weird scene where a man... It presumably carries another man down one step and giggles his way back up as he hides in a corner. I mean, I would really appreciate it if you didn't get in my way. Uh, okay, so that's how you continue. Why did I never try that? I guess I could just eat. Yeah, I'll sleep. Miss Holly will be fine. Josuke turned out all right. You know, it'll be it'll be fine. They're not as dangerous as they want you to believe. I knew it. There's no way it'd be that easy. We'll have to strike air travel off the menu for now. If we get attacked by a stand in the air again, we could put even more people's lives at risk. That leaves us land and sea. There are they're the only safe ways left to travel. Hey. That was the wrong button. I apologize for that. We can't afford to endanger Holly any further. That was a weird one. If it weren't for that plane crash, we'd be in Cairo by now. I'm well aware. But no fear! Someone once wrote a book about going around the world in 80 days, and that was back in the days of steam power. Even without airplanes, we should be able to reach Dio in less than half that time. Here's what I'm thinking. If I can charter out a ship, we can take it all the way around Malaysia and through the Indian Ocean. Sort of like the Silk Road out of the sea. I agree with this plan. If we go by land, there are things like deserts, the Himalayas, all kinds of complications, basically. I've heard, ne I've heard never traveled. I've never traveled either way, so I'll just follow your lead. Same here. Same here. Yeah. That's what Jotaro sounds like. And me! Of course, Dio stand users are going to be the biggest complication of all regardless of which route we take. What we should really be thinking about is how we're going to reach out, reach our destination undetected. Hmm. I mean, I can turn people invisible. Kekyoin put the lid of the teapot to its side. What? Oh, don't you know? In Hong Kong, it means refill, please. Then, after they bring more tea, you tap on the table twice to say thanks. Wha wow, you know a lot about this stuff. Pardon me, but could you help me? I'm visiting from France, and I can't seem to read the menus. Go bother someone else. Hey, Jotaro, no need to be rude. Excuse him. I've never been rude in a foreign country, ever. I've been to Hong Kong enough times to be able to read a menu, at least. What would you like? This one's shrimp, this one's duck. Finally, they brought out Joseph's order. Rice porridge, spit-roasted frogs, shellfish, and simmering whole fish. Uh-huh. Uh, um... <laughs> well, eat up, everyone. It's, it's all on me, I guess. All the food is good here, so it doesn't really matter what you order, anyhow. <laughs> uh, uh. No way! Oh, isn't this- isn't that cute? This place has such a fine attention to detail. I am a French man. That is my- that is my character. Look at how they cut his carrots. It's shaped like a star. 
You know, I feel like I've seen this before. <gasps> oh, I remember now. A friend of mine has a birthmark just like this on the base of his neck. My goodness. D -d Don't tell me. Are you a stand user? The rice porridge in front of Joseph suddenly began to bubble. Mr. Joestar, get out of the way! A rapier? There's a rapier in your porridge! It's a stand! Magician's red! The rapier slashed the flame and they vanished. What? Did... Did he do that with his sword? Look, a... Look, a, a stand! One that looks like a knight! My stand represents chariot Akanam. I call it Siva Chariot. Muhammad Avda. It looks like it wants to take you on first. See the table over there? I've carved a clock of it using your flames. What? When they reach 12, I will kill you. How does that work? Oh, right. Yeah, I remember now. I see. That's some unbelievable swordsmanship. I've never seen anything like it. You're taking me down before the clock strikes 12. Don't you think you're giving yourself a little too much credit, Mr... Uh... Call me Paul Nelly. Jean Pierre Paul Nelly. Merci beaucoup. I'm very... It's very kind of you to introduce yourself, however. Oh. Whoa! Abdul burned half the table to ash with a flick of his wrist. Monsieur Paul Nelly. My fla my flames strike like hot like are not like typical ones. Don't think they can be blown by the wind or that you only burn blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. These flames bend to my will. That's why I call my stand Magicians are red. Hmm. They say the world was born in a sea of flames. I suppose your magician is supposed to be one that controls them? A noble stand indeed. However, you see seem to think I'm all talk. What the heck is happening? Why isn't it going on its own? I didn't press anything. Paul Nerf threw five coins into him. He skewered the coins with his sword all in the blink of an eye. No. Take a closer look. He... He pissed Avdol's flames too. I see. You pissed my flames along with the coins. It seems you understand why I did this. Call me what you like, but I am no braggart. My silver chariot can cut fast enough to slice through air itself. Therefore, your flames are nothing but a... Before my sword. Mm -hmm. My card, the chariot, symbolizes victory and the act of aggression. In a crowded place like this, it would sweep the floor with you. But your stand's abilities work best in wide open places, does it not, Ebdal? Such a one-sided battle isn't becoming of a noble stand like mine. Shall we even the odds a bit? Ah, uh, the ever noble Paul Nerf. Oh, it gave me nice. Wish I would have done that before I killed that nurse. Why don't we take this somewhere a little less cramped? Allow me to show you to your deathbed. What is this place? So, so Tiger Palm Garden is our battlefield. Allow me to make a prediction, Evdal. Here you will be undone by your own stance power. He, he seems pretty nonchalant about all this. Evdal. Stand back, Jotaro. It's as he said, my stand performs best in open places such as these. Hmm. I see where you're coming from, but what if he has us right where he wants us? Let's decide amongst ourselves who'll take him now. Do what you will. I'll eliminate all of you in due time anyhow. I believe in Abdal, mainly because I know he wins. Both opponents summon their stance. I'm good. Good dodge, which is the attack. Take that! And that! But you should try to charge effortlessly. What's wrong? Not going to use those flames you talk so much about in this case? I'll make the first move. 
I can't do Stan Christ, especially not Paul Nerefs. <laughs> Win condition. And you defeat Fail condition. All members are KO. Well, it's just Abdol, because I'm very cocky. Get out of here, Guile. Changed his distance. How fortuitous. You know, canonically, you don't stand a chance, Bolnera, but. Shoot! He's too fast to only attack the target all enemies. Oh. Is that going to be the case most of the time? It sure seems like it. Bolnera, please. Please, this is for your own good. Think of all the bathroom adventures you could have if you just gave up. It would be so wonderful. Be a pig. Lick a toilet. It would be great. God, man, it's kind of boring when it only lets you use the one attack that hits everybody. Ah, oh, I'm so afraid. No, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to heal. Ah, oh, he lost. <laughs> oh, wait, there's more? When did he carve that rock? Damn it, he's making fools of us. Hmm. It goes nicely with the rest of the statues in the garden, don't you think? Looks like I'll have to get... Oh, this was supposed to happen? Ah, this is getting interesting. Get ready. Oh. Prepare yourself. Crossfire Hurricane! <laughs> is that all you've got? What a disappointment. Shoot, he deflected it back at Abdul. Looks like my prediction was correct. Oh no! How could this have happened? I thought I had killed you for sure. Where are the flames coming? Oh. Finally caught on, did you? The flames make it hard to tell, but what you cut open was the statue you yourself carved. You thought it was the real thing because it melting points caused it to move. D Damn you! This is the end of the line, Paul Nerif. Take this! Crossfire Hurricane! Oh no. Trying to predict the future in front of a fortune teller. You're ten years too young. Come back in ten years. Looks like we made it. We should be out of commission. He should be out of commission for a few months after that attack. Well, we better get going. He was a long way off. What? His stand broke into pieces. Bravo. Oh, bravo. Bastard. He looks good as new aside from the couple scrapes and bruises. And how is he floating in the air like that? Ha ha ha! Why don't you take a closer look? No. How? Voila! Voila! This is my stand, silver chariot without its armor. Now, it w it won't be very knightly of me to just attack you without explaining my stand's power, would it? What say you to a little timeout? By all means, go ahead. What you'd seen earlier was my stand being dismantled, but just the removal of its armor. What what you've burned just was just pieces of the armor. That did, in fact, damage me, but not considerably. Now, without all of the extra weight, you'll find that my stand is quite fast indeed. The reason you couldn't see it lift me is because it is too fast for the naked eye. I see. But what you're trying to say is that my crossfire hurricane was able to hit you because of the extra weight. But without that armor, the hit, although the hit would be fatal. You realize that, yes? Well, yes. If hit, yes, it is impossible. You're about to see something that'll make you quick in your boots. Well, please, do show us. See if our chariot split into seven. What? His stand multiplied. How? Stands are supposed to be one person. That's not technically true, Kakyoin, but I'll, I'll cut you some slack. You don't know that yet. Look like my prediction was correct yet again. You're all scared as hell. These are after images, friends. 
that's the worst accent ever. Just illusions created from my stand's movements. Now tell me, how does Silver Chariot's Blade feel now? I leave it to Abdul. Abdul's got it covered. I don't need my help. Oh god. I'm, I'm, perhaps should have helped, but this is, this canonically works out. It's okay. Calm down, calm down, Abdul. Got to come up with something fast. Learn plan. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Where is plan? Nope. Plans are for losers. Crossfire Hurricane. All of them, though. Firewall. I'm pretty scared, in fairness, Balnair. If you're a lot scarier when you're attacking me and not a character on screen, I gotta, I gotta say. I always thought you were a bit of a chump. Abdul is watching closely. Keep watching, Abdul. You got this. Ooh, too fast for the naked eye. Please stop hitting me. Abdul, back. Oh my goodness. What does Otto do? Will he plan on his own? Can you do it, Abdul? I believe in you. I'm not you. I'm Kevin. I'm Kevin, the tiny child who looks uh, surprisingly like a certain character in the next part of this series. I can't stop bleeding. Dealing so much damage to these after images, they don't stand a chance. Abdul, you lose a lot of blood, buddy. I mean, you got a fire stand. Why don't you cauterize the wound, maybe? Too slow. No, that after image is slightly stronger than all the other ones. Look, who's that? Who's that handsome devil? Hmm, that might... Go ahead and heal up. That's... There's only four attacks now. This should actually do something. Oh, he added another one. They keep respawning. Oh, this guy I beat up told me about this. They're weaker when they respawn. It's fine. It's fine. I'm still accomplishing something. It's fine. The last time I lost Abdul, just won anyways. Not too worried about it. Get out of here. There he is. Who's... I'm going to kill you. Stop. It's embarrassing now. Less embarrassing than I thought. Stop hitting me. Let's keep doing that because he's gonna spawn him again. Or he'll just stand there. Either way, I have SP for days. After all, throw the knife at him so he doesn't burn to death. Give him an honorable death. Can't out heal this damage, Polnareff. Please stop trying. 
It, it hurts to see you do this, buddy. I mean, the comic relief, but still. I loved you like a brother. How much health you got? Oh no. It wasn't effective. He brought back three. Good work. And he's dead. Holy crap. Ooh. Echoes Tarot. Abdal threw a knife to Paul Nerf. Yes. Boning to death must be unimaginably painful. Use that to end your suffering. <laughs> so metal. <laughs> no. I'll die this way. Committing suicide would be a disservice. Let this be a testament to your strength. What has happened? Is it... What has happened here? Okay, I'm fine. Amazing. You really are a noble warrior to the very end. With Theo's flesh blood in you, I would have expected you to throw the dagger at me, but your sense of honor transcends even his influence. Killing you would be a waste. It looks like he doesn't have any strength to fight! Now, Jotaro! Yeah. I'll extract it. Yeah, this channel has always grossed me out. Hopefully now that we've taken the spore out, he'll be a good sport <laughs> about coming with us. I hope he's not a spore loser. <laughs> I'm Joseph Joestar. Gakuin, don't guys that make stupid puns all the time piss you off? No. And so one day passed, and Jotaro and his friends arrived at the harbor. Current day four. Well, we've got a bit of time before our ship arrives, so might as well kick back at the harbor a bit. It's been just one fight after another recently, so it'll be nice to relax for once. We'll meet up at the port up north afterwards. Have fun and take it easy, guys. Oh, but be careful. Apparently there's been a series of bizarre incidents in this town recently. It could be Dio's work. Hey, Paul Nero, if you want to join me? Port up north, got it? He appears to be in deep thought. Okay. You do you, buddy. I should save. I don't want to have to fight you again. Never want to fight you, Paul Nero. You lovable idiot. This is the port town. There's a big marketplace in the center. Thanks. Food. Do you have demon horns? Oh, you have rabbit. You have bunny ears, I'm saying. It takes serious inner strength to work as a bunny girl. Dealing with pervert, pervy old guys at the bar all day really takes it out of you. Wait, wait Jotaro? Uh, Kevin, what's up? Yeah. That's what a plan. Oh, that's how you get them. They're around the place. He's in a bunny cafe. Okay. What, Jotaro? It's fine. But let's be best buddies. Watch this. See that? I did five damage, Jotaro. Aren't you impressed? Jotaro, I really wanted to impress you, but it's not working out so well. Can I get Joseph? I feel like he would suck in battle, but I kind of don't care. We've had more stairways than ever these days. I just escorted a real weird character out of my ship's hold. Hey, Joseph. It isn't Kevin. I love the energy of this place. Think yes. Wait, can I? Do I have them all? No, I don't. I that got rid of Joseph. I I got rid of Joe Jerome. That's fine. This is fine. So let's work together to kill these bugs. Okay, Joseph actually might be a better choice for all of these tiny boots. Bigger targets, Jotaro, 100%. Hermit Purple is actually useful in this. Wow. That's something. Got beat by an old man with purple vines. How's it feel? Black belt doesn't help very much when you're dealing with a space ghost. Who are you? Oh wait, no, come, no, it's not. Not this early. No way. That's not a whole horse. It can't be. 
I'm not ready for him. Get out of here, ghost. Yeah, that's right. Kevin does a lot of damage to ghost types. Good work, Kevin. Before talking to not whole horse, I don't want to fight him. Man in Western wear. No, not yet. Can't work alone. <laughs> Damn it, whole horse. Please, can't we just be friends? No, I don't. I don't want to fight ghosts right now. I just want to talk to people. Stupid ghost. Hey! Look that, you damn dirty ghost. Heat barrier, cold barrier, and whoosh. Damn, I learned a lot of abilities. I wonder if my stand is actually good. If I had to guess, I'd say no. Hi. Oof. To an enemy. No. What about heat barrier? Get him. Ripple hair attack? I still got that. Huh? Muda, 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 muda. Oh, Luigi's a black mage and into Jojo? My god, I need to change who I play in Smash. What you got? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Ooh. Hmm, and surprisingly uncomplicated taste. Refreshing and delicious. I don't think Joseph would actually like any food that isn't familiar to him. I mean, I, I remember his squid ink spaghetti incident. Hey, are you a stand user? No, I never want to be sober. That is a horrible existence. Old horse, eh? How's it going? I'm gonna kill some bugs. Just so, then I'll be ready for you, whole horse. If you kill enough bugs, you're ready for a man with a gun. It's true. Hey, do you notice that you're surrounded by evil creatures? You know that beat-up jeep in the east of here? I saw an odd customer fellow hanging around there. Oh, well, let me go kill him. Bombs? Oh, they do. They do have. Is that. It looks like sheer heart attack. It's like face. What? That's the top of sheer heart attack. 100%. What are you doing? Kira, why? You're a. Ch Maybe not a child. You're like in your teens. You're probably jo Jotro's age ish. Top center on sheer heart attacks. It's rude. Uh, it's up to you, Joseph. What else is new? Time to go eat. No, stay away from me. Nice cat, kid. Try the seafood here. It's great. It's a port town, after all. 
your parents wouldn't just so happen to own a seafood restaurant, would they? No. I'm sure they don't, kid. I don't trust you. Excuse me, sir. What is with this blood? This is where a young woman was assaulted. Apparently, she saw the weirdo everyone's been talking about. She sustained heavy injuries. You should be careful. Okay. Where is he? He said he was by the jeep. A busted up jeep. This is a busted up jeep. It's full of bullet holes. Oh. Whole horse, did you do this? No. I guess this is just a grinding area. It doesn't look like there's actually a like mini boss to fight. Wait, what? Oh, okay, escape. I thought Okay, I have to actually eat it. Can you wake me up, please? Thanks. Thanks, Joseph. You're a real pal. Didn't heal him either. This is strange. Good. Back fighting fit. So I can kill sheer heart attacks. Scarlet Overdrive! Uh, I kinda wanna use moment abilities now, but this is just so good for groups. And I just dealt, what, 50, like 6 damage with that? Spread out, but still. I'm just gonna go auto. Joseph, that's not the attack you should have used. I'm disappointed in you. See, Kevin's figured it out. Okay, I think that's... Nah, I should level up anybody else. Maybe Kakuin, wherever the hell he is. Kakuin, where are you? The only thing you've done thus far is got your ass kicked. Where are you at, buddy? Not up here. Are you in the superstore, Kakuin? I need you to not be awful. Nope, oh, I don't know. He and Avdol just pieced out. the same. Yep. I got a date to keep with an orangutan. Here's the ship! I've made sure no other passengers will be aboard, just in case our trip goes anyway, like last time. Monsieur, Dieu sir. Monsieur, not Monsieur. Monsieur, pardon my interruption, but I have a question to ask you. D you ask away. I noticed you never take the glove off, never during meals. Now this may sound odd, but is your left hand by chance also a right hand? What? Is my left hand a right hand? It really is an odd question. Wait, what? I'm searching for the man who killed my sister. Don't know what he looks like, but I do know that he has two right hands. Okay. Took off his glove, reeling the robot. It's an old battle wound. It happened about 50 years ago. Pardon, I didn't mean to pry. It's been three years now. My sister was walking home with a classmate in the backwoods of France. There was a man standing in the middle of the road. I don't blame that person for leaving. There was a... <laughs> Even though it was pouring rain, he was completely dry, and if protected by a dome. Just then, my friend's chest was slashed open by the wind. After that, my sister was... and killed. That was the man's only aim. Her friend narrowly escaped the same fate, but since she, he stood with his back to her, she never saw his face, just that he had two right hands. No one believed her testimony. Only I understood. Only I understood. I knew that he must have had the same abilities as me. That definitely sounds like the work of a stand user. That's why I swore to hunt down and kill that man. 
so that my sister's soul could finally rest in peace. I might just give him a normal voice because I'm really hating this. I swear to exact revenge on him with my stand. To make him suffer like she did. Suffer like G did. And then Juan Ye, I met Dio. Dio claimed to know the whereabouts of the man with two hands. I was ordered to kill you in exchange for that information. I truly believe that it was the right thing to do. That was the flesh. That was the flesh but influencing you, no doubt. Dio has a knack for exploiting people's vulnerabilities. Yes. But, uh, once hearing your story, it's clear to me that Dio intends to recruit the man with two right hands for his own purpose. He's probably didn't... He probably didn't send him to kill us right away so he could continue to manipulate Paul Nerf. That's exactly why I'm following you to Egypt. I know that finding Dio means finding my sister's killer. And also that guy put a flesh blood in my head. Excuse me, but could you take our picture and give us an excuse to talk to you? Jotaro looks irritated. Please? Shut up! Go with someone else! No, no, I can handle the picture, no problem! How about a full body shot? It, it'd be a shame not to get those pretty little legs into frame. Plus, I can get a close-up of those thighs. Aha! Uh -huh. If only I could capture your heart as easily as I've uh, captured this photo. I really don't get this guy. He really changed moods on a dime. He thinks with the wrong head. Oh. Risky. I don't know about traveling with this guy in tow. Give me a fucking break! Jesus! Yes. Always save the game. Never not be saving. It's about three days by sea from Hong Kong to Singapore. We might as well take the time off to recharge. But I've been wondering, why are you still wearing your school uniforms? It's gotta be hot in those things. We're students. Students should look like students. That's my reason. If not, if not for my uniform, I don't think anyone would be able to tell Jotaro's in high school. <laughs> the sea breeze is very calming, though. It makes me feel like I'm taking a swim. I brought swimsuits just in case. Just swim late. Let's swim later. I'll sw I can't swim. You're, ja you're a Japanese kid. You know how to swim. It'd be even better if there were some girls aboard. Let me, let me go! Let me go, dumbass! I said let me go! Are you listening to me? Let me go! Shut your pie hole, you little fatso! What's going on? I specifically requested that no other passengers be on board. This is very unspeedwagon foundation like. Yeah, sorry, sir. It's a stowaway. He snuck in right under our nose with the ship's cargo. Alright, come on now. I'm heading you over to the police. P police? Please, anything, anything about that, please. I just want to see my dad in Singapore. I'll work for you. I won't get in the way. <laughs> Let me think about it. No. Come on with me. Damn it. Whoa, that was quite a leap. Easily attained. I think he really intended to swim. I think he really intends to swim to shore. Good luck with that. What should we do? Who cares? If he didn't think he could make it, he wouldn't have jumped in. Hey, what are you doing? Water's around here swimming with sharks. Hey, kid! Come back, there's a shark! Come back, it is too dangerous. <laughs> and then he knew that he would become a marine biologist. That was the moment his life changed forever. That was a close one. Give me a fucking break, kid. You... Wait. A girl? You smell like piss. Jotaro, look down. There's something in the water below you. Watch out. I can get them at this distance. How to find green. And thus he did. Kakarin pulled Jotaro and the girl up to the water. Up out of the water. <coughs> <coughs> Could this girl, maybe, 
Is she a stand user? She might have lured Jotaro into water on purpose. She could have been a decoy. Yeah. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? You want to go? Pearl pu pulled out a switchblade. Fight me! Mono a mono! Come on, losers! She's clearly playing dumb. What do we do? Throw her back in? Hold on. We're not 100% sure she's a stand user. We can't just throw it at the sharks. But we did a background check on this ship's crew, captain and crew. It has to be her. We just gotta get her to admit it. And here it comes. So, tell me. How is Dio? Dio? What the hell is that? Hey, don't play dumb with us. I don't know what you're talking about. What the hell is a Dio? Is it a motorbike? You, you want to talk or fight? I'll cut you. The, the demon blade is begging to taste the blood of the 340th victim. <sighs> what, what's a funny twerp? Twerp? Uh, I don't really think it's her. Y yeah, but if we're the enemy, if you were the enemy, wouldn't you want us to think you were just a dumb kid? Hmm. Well. So this girl is the stowaway. <sighs> Captain Taniel. I have a strict policy regarding stowaways. You may be a girl, but if I let you aboard, everyone's gonna think they can get a free ride. Well, you'll get it all right. You can spend your trip locked in the cellar. Come on. No. Pardon me, Captain. You did check the background of all the crew members thoroughly, correct? You got it. They're real veterans. I'd say they've all been working here for about 10 years minimum. I'm not sure why you were so insistent on it, but never mind that. The captain took Joko Dotoro's cigarette. Please refrain from smoking on my ship. What were you planning to do with the ashes? Pollute our beautiful ocean? You may be a paying customer, but you still got to follow the rules, young man. Captain rubbed out the cigarette on the brim of Jotaro's hat and stuck the butt in Jotaro's pocket. Got it. Hold on. Who the hell do you think you are? Yara, yara does it. You idiot. If you just asked nicely, I would have put it out myself, dickhead. Huh? Jotaro, how dare you speak to the captain that way? <laughs> Why sh should I do that? After all, he's not the captain. He's our stand user. What? What? In sequence? S stand? The heck's that? That's impossible, Jotaro. Think of what you're saying. Captain Tiniel is a trusted friend of the Speedwagon Foundation. It's true. There's zero reason to doubt him. Do you have any proof, Jojo? <laughs> Wait, slow down. What's a stand? What are you talking about? I've noticed a difference between stand users and regular people. If they inhale even a little bit of cigarette smoke, the blood vessels on their nose pop out. What? Everyone but the girl touches their nose. What the f- what, what is wrong with these people? You're full of shit, Jotaro. That I am. But it looks like we found the idiot. Uh? <gasps> what the heck is happening? Who are these people? Jotaro! Why did you suspect the captain in the first place? I didn't. I plan on pulling that trick on everyone in the crew and eventually... What a dumbass. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's true. I'm not the real captain. I sent him to Davy Jones' locker long before we left Hong Kong. You think that's bad? I'll send you to hell. Uh. The enemy stand. Grab the girl. Shit. Trouble at sea lies in deception. Fear of the unknown. That is what my card, the moon, symbolizes. My stand's name? Dark Blue Moon. I didn't expect this to be a six-on-one fight. I plan to take you all out individually while in hiding. But nuts to that. It's a good thing this girl snuck on board. Now I've got a hostage. You wouldn't put an innocent little girl's life in danger, would you? I'll just be taking her into the water with me now. Then, even a six-on-one is no problem at all. See is my stance playground. What makes you think I care? You don't have to care. 
Your Star Platinum may be fast, but it's nothing compared to my stand's swimming speed. My stand can swim faster than any fish in the world. If you want to compare speeds, you're dead in the water. <laughs> so, ready to head to a water grave? See you later, idiots. Now's your chance. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> Now's my chance. What? Who's this kid? Yeah, what's up? I got free. I got, I got, what would be better, electricity or freezing? I'm gonna go with electricity. See what happens. Eat this, nerd. Pokemon rules. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. And he's paralyzed. You won't even make it in the water. Yeah, that was- oh god, that was really easy. That can't be it, right? I reached level 9. Grr, you, you little prick! But I've still got the hostage! To the ocean! And then Jotaro killed him. Grr, you attacked me before I could even land in the water, that's- The only one headed towards a watery grave is you. Abdul, say something. I'm trying to predict the future in front of- Trying to predict a future in the front of a front of a fortune tower. Talk about getting ahead of yourself. Oh, one-liners. Looks like he drowned. Dark blue moon, huh? That guy was kind of a letdown. Looks like the girl's okay. Good. Jotaro, what's holding on? Hurry up and get her out. You're bored. The ship. The water is evil. What? Huh? What, what is it? Damn it! I'm getting pulled under! What? What did you say? Everyone, look at Star Platinum's arm! The arm Star Platinum was using to carry the girl became coated in barnacles. Uh, what are those? Those are barnacles. They're kind of sea creature. How are they sticking to a stand? That should be possible. Who cares? We gotta help him! Come on! Let's get him on board, quickly! It, it's a stand! Damn it. Looks like he's still able to fight. They must have stuck to me when I punched him. They're manipulating and... No, multiplying, and they're sapping my energy. At this rate, I'll be pulled in. Jotaro! Pull up your stand! I, I can't... I'm just getting sweaty, my grip is... Ugh. Jojo! My best friend in the world. Jojo! Damn it. This is bad. W wait. They stuck to Jojo when he punched him? That means... Kevin's stand is covered in barnacles. I never touched him. I just zapped him with electricity, but whatever. I, I knew it! Kevin! See, I should've just... I just need to let the cannon happen. Otherwise, I ruin everything. Now I'm gonna drown to death, because I don't have the bullshit Deus Ex Machina Starfinger. It's so kind of you to come. This is the world of Dark Blue Moon. The Deep Blue Sea. You really shouldn't have underestimated me, young man. Our stands can communicate for us. Why don't you talk about how weak I am for some more, huh? Eh, young man? What do you want? Huh? I said... What kind of seafood do you want to be? Sashimi? Fish paste? Ceviche? Fool! You may talk big, but I know everything about what you're thinking. It's how long can this guy hold his breath? My personal record's about two minutes, am I right? <laughs> well, I'll answer that right now. My breath capacity is roughly three times that of a normal human. I've been trained. My record is six minutes, 21 seconds. Ugh. Beat that! Oh right, you can't, stupid kid. That's not all. My dark blue moon's flippers are razor sharp and even faster than the ship's propellers. Now, take a look at your stand. The barnacles are sucking away at Star Platinum. Those barnacles are sapping your strength, and now they're multiplying fast. <laughs> Trying to swim to the surface? Sorry, not gonna happen. Dark blue moon created a cycle. You'll never be able to go up for air. Swim all you want. It'll only make you suffer more. The whirlpool is filled with my razor-sharp scales. If your friend tries to jump in and save you, 
They'll be mincemeat. Now, I'm ex I know exactly what you're thinking. There's the eye of the storm, a spot where the whirlpool is still. Eh, so cliche. You're thinking he's in the center. I can attack him before he sucks me in. If you could, if you think you could still manage a punch, then go ahead. Come at me. Your stand doesn't even have the strength to swim thanks to his barnacles, let alone defend against my stand water cutter. What do you say to that, young man? Oh look, some more fish bait. Come here, I'll teach you a lesson. Kevin, so you were pulled under too. Too bad. Anyway, help me beat the crap out of this guy. If you don't want to become a bloated corpse, I don't. I don't. I beat him pretty easily last time. Mission. Beat this guy before Jotaro learns Starfinger. Oh, he already learned it. Well, do it. Do it anyways. Wow, this... I don't think this guy stands a chance. I mean, he's just a jobber grunt for Dio, so it's fair. Zap, waity zap. <laughs> Gotta feel bad. My stand is actually pretty good. It, has, it, pl it applies a bunch of status effects, it does decent damage, it's got good range. No, no. Always Starfinger. Always. Yeah. Yeah! Canonic ending! Blah, blah. Give me a fucking break! That damn captain! He hit a bomb in the ship! Everyone, quick! Get to the lifeboats! I'll try to send out an SOS signal. Don't do it. Don't do it, Joseph. It seems even the sea route is fraught with dangers. That was Paul Nerf. Okay. There's no use wallowing over it. Let's just be glad the other crew members weren't hurt. But how long are we going to be adrift like this? We'll just have to pry... Pray... That help comes. Pry open the, the lifeboat supply grid. What's wrong? Thirsty? Here, add some water. I've sent out a signal. We should be rescued in any minute now. I... I didn't really understand what happened yet, but... Who are you guys? Uh, we're in a hurry, just like you. You're trying to meet your father, right? Uh, I'm here for my daughter. Hmm. Hmm? Good day! That's a valuable water! Don't just spit it out! Nah. No, 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 look. Over there. Huh? Hey, it's a tanker! How did I not see it there before? They're extending a ramp! They must have gotten our signal! We're saved! Mm -hmm. I mean, of a sort. Jotaro, what are you thinking? You don't think there's a stand user here too, do you? That's not it. I'm just wondering why there's no one on deck. Huh? They came to help us! There's got to be someone aboard! Either way, our food and water supplies are limited. This ship is our only hope. That's true. Listen, still, this car calls for some investigation. I have a really bad feeling about this. What's with this ship? There's not a soul aboard. No captain, no engineer, no crew. No one to speak of. Yet, all the systems are functioning without problem somehow. There's a monkey of some kind in the holding cell, but no trace of a human ever being here. What's going on? The hook moved on its own! Abdul, get to that sailor out of there! Soldier's face was impaled by the hook. Give me a break. There's no way to welcome a little girl aboard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no one touch it. No one was standing anywhere near the lever. It, how to do that? That was a stand. Be careful, the user has to be somewhere. This ship's not here to save us. It's trying to kill us. How many enemies are aboard? Are they alone? But... I didn't see anyone, anything resembling a stand. I was closest to the hook, and I even didn't get a notice of a particular stand shape. What? Let them handle it. I'll search the ship with my head on green. What, huh? Who? I don't, I'm, what the, what is happening? I, 
I don't like this. What is wrong with you guys? It totally cursed to something. There's just one thing you need to know. We're your friends. Okay, let's split into groups of two. Look for the enemy. If we don't find them before nightfall, things could get ugly. And then they did. Oh, it's me. Um, groups of two, groups of two. No! A hook! Oh, no. Jotaro, what are we gonna do? The answer is freezing. That was easy. I did it. And then I saved. Am I always with Jotaro? Probably. Those two crew members are taking shelter on the lower levels of the ship. If anything happens, call for the radio. Oh, I can go with Joseph. I'll go with Jotaro, though. That's fine. That's fine. Hey there. How are you? Th there's a big monkey in the cage below the deck. It's so creepy. I agree. This is one of the creepier episodes. Not the creepiest, of course. It's hard to top a pedophile murderer. Hey, Russians. Steer the ship. Wheel is moving on its own. Switch on the radio. Oh, I accidentally did that. I thought it was scripted. Hey, Mr. Orangutan, where you at? Can you leave me alone, please? I might be a little over-leveled. I don't know how. I sound like I've done much grinding. A hydrant wants to fight. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that hydrant and propeller. Just attack him normally. Don't waste your best speed. It's just a prop. It's only a model. Yay! I learned barrier. Where is that orangutan? You're really inaccurate with your punches these days. What happened? Never mind. I didn't mean to assault you. I'm sorry. Please get out of my way. I am looking for an ape. Very special ape. wearing a hat. Oh, wait, no, he's not wearing a hat yet. He's trying to make us believe he's in a regular running thing. I forgot. Uh, he's, he's got nudie mags in his cage. You, you, you know the one. Just tell me, you stupid bugs. Okay, that's where I came from, so I'll do this one. Nope, that's where I came from. I liked it better when it didn't have random encounters. Escape! Uh, it's fine. Kill them. I just think, shouldn't this be hurting the orangutan, though? I mean, they are, these are part, technically part of his stand. I don't think they... He never starts to bleed because of this. Well, I could use a snack. None for you, Jojo. You're getting fat. Jesus, children. It's really necessary to deal 100 damage to a fire hydrant. Wait, Jojo is 12? I'm only 10. Ooh, is that good? Well, this is pathetic. Oh. Oh no! A surprise attack from a propeller. People. Okay. I 
what's there to say when you keep being attacked by boat propellers and fire hydrants? Other than, man, fucking hate propellers and fire hydrants. Wait, did you heal me? Thanks. I'm trying to dig any info on the ship's controls. We're professionals, just let us handle this. Kitchen is stocked with fresh fish, but there's no one aboard. Can't just be an abandoned ship. Let me take a shower. That'll lure him. That'll lure that bastard out. Can't resist. It's a weird RPG. In the sense that I know everything that's going to happen, so I know what I should be doing, but... It's not like I spoiled myself, because if you didn't know what was happening, this is... I don't think you'd be playing this ever. It's, it's not exactly a great introductory to the story, you'd just be very, very confused. Why does Kevin suck so much compared to the other guys? I just can't figure it out. Hey, control presence. Alright, is that where I'm supposed to go? Are there repels? Can I? Mm -hmm. Might have been my imagination, but it looked like the levers on the dashboard were moving on their own. Am I going senile? Maybe. My head feels dizzy. Uh oh, fuzzy. Whoa. Why? Oh, I sobered up. Get me out of here. I just want to beat up a monkey. That's all I want. I want him to put on his stupid little sailor's hat, and I want to punch him in his dumb face. That's it. Is that too much to ask? No, I need help. Seems like the easiest place to grind, but I don't see a reason for it. Everything's already been pretty easy. Although I think it's partially because I have a go by Pokemon rules apparently. My electricity murdered that fish. I did it. Again. I wish there were slightly more enemies for the random encounters. I'm kind of getting tired of fire hydrants and propellers. You know, maybe like an actual stand user or something. Alright. Now I can go get the monkey. Oh, is it getting a little too easy at this? Order, order, Rush. Nice. Excellent. Excuse me, I'm trying to get to a cage. Do you know where it is? I haven't even seen it, and I already have the key for it. Very much appreciate some assistance. What is this? Nothing. Good. Bye. I have an FXP. I'm done with you. Oh, there's probably stuff in here I didn't get. Yep. Ripple-infused cola? Hell yeah! Actually seems more dangerous than it does helpful, but... You know, I'll take it. I'll take a little... Haman Coca-Cola. It helps you defeat corrupt police officers. Hand grenade? Oh. Well, I don't mind if I do. Leave me alone, please. Nope. Where am I going? Is this it? Probably. Yep. 
Oh, he's missing. The cage is already open. Hello? He's dead. Oh my god. You got Bowdy magazine. Look at that Bowdy. Can I get... I'm gonna get this. Yeah, overdrive. That's what it is. Pretty sure I already know where I need to go. To the showers! Hit the showers, boys. Pack it up. You done. Oh, there's more stuff. Yay. No. No! Please leave me alone! You are excellent XP sources for a while, but now I'm bored. Oh, look at all these dead people. But you healed me! Oh. It's a sailor. He's wearing the nurse's coat, but the nurse is gone. It did heal. No, it didn't. it didn't. Okay, good. Hey, stop being creepy. Instinctually slug, slug the rank thing as it was about to attack the girl. Is this a stand user? What? Why can't I see the stand? Where is it hiding? The boat's the stand, Trojan Road. The boat. Could it, he himself be the stand? No, the sailors and the girls could see him. And when I punched him, I felt a stand user's power. But why can't I see his stand? No, maybe. I'm already looking at it. This freighter is the stand, which still doesn't answer the question to how normal people could see it, but you know. Strength. The eighth Arcanum in Tarot. Arcanum in Tarot. This symbolizes challenges, force of will, and hidden powers. It's the the stand is strength. When condition murder him. A simple task. Hey, buddy. Bet you don't like being cold. Or being punched multiple times. I'm never anything stop. Hey, thanks for moving farther away. I'm the long distance guy. Myself. Freeze you, and then you won't be able to do that anymore. I wish I wasn't so slow. Go ahead. Eh, oh, not frozen shit. Nope. I tried. Hey, he's back. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. I will also paralyze you. God, please don't go back in the wall. Try your best, but you don't succeed. My God, this fight's so annoying. Just break it, break his stupid orangutan jaw. I 
took one damage. Good. It's not like he's gonna heal that. What am I missing? This auto. You do it, computer. You know. I ain't afraid of you. Apparently. Flux Berserk. This will make him attack, and then he won't be able to leave. Yeah. Yeah, that's the ticket. Wait. Trying to Berserk him. Yes! I will heal myself with an ointment. Jotaro will punch this. No, hit him with Star. Starfinger, yeah. Ointments, Kevin. No. Nope. Well, now I gotta revive him. Oh, that's not good. Now I gotta revive him. Wait, do I have another one? Oh, wait, what? That button's not part of your stand. <laughs> didn't that piss you off? I wounded your pride, didn't I? Nah, that's impossible. Monkeys don't have any pride. Forever became enraged. Just then, Star Platinum grabbed the button and flung it at the enemy. I was supposed to die. That sucks. I'll go right for your brain. Starfinger! The button blew a hole through Forever's forehead. Give me a fucking break. And then Kevin was better. Ow, I don't like that. I heard that frightened animals show their bellies as a sign of surrender. Are you asking me to let this slide? Sorry, but your the stuff you've done goes way past the rules of the animal kingdom. Not a chance. And then he died. And then he killed a species that is uh, in risk of endangerment. It's, it's a threatened species. It's falling apart! The ship is crumbling! We'll have plenty of time to gawk later. For now, we need to get off the ship. Heard of lifeboats. We came in. It's hard to believe that ship we were just on. It's such a dinky little thing. What's unbelievable is that an ape was able to course cross the ocean with its own stand. He must have been frighteningly powerful. If we hadn't found out he was the one behind it, we'd have been overpowered for sure. The thought that we might have seen might meet a stand user even stronger than this one is quite unsettling. The, uh, the, the. Hey, you want? Hey, do you want some gum? Do you? We ha we like gum. Look, looks like we're at the mercy of the waves again. Give me a break. There are plenty of time to dry them out in the sun. Oh, it got worse somehow. Guess we just have to pray to make it to Singapore safely. I, I think all the fighting and getting dropped into water has taken its toll. And so the group got lucky and was saved by, the pass by a passing ship arriving in Singapore three days later. We really got a lucky break. I don't know how much longer we could have been adrift like that. This is Singapore. Single poor. That's what the French call it. It's not. There could still be enemies lying in wait. We should explore in groups of two again. I've handed a memo with all your room numbers to that girl. There could even be enemies in the hotel, so check your room thoroughly before you sleep. Explore with whom? I haven't spent any time with Abdul. I have an uneasy feeling about this. Hopefully today I'll go... We'll go by without an incident. It won't. Hey, Rohan again. 
my dad won't be here for another five days, so I'm hanging out with you guys. Who's staying here? Where? Palneros on floor 9, in room 912. Jojo's grandpa and Abdul are on the 12th floor, in room 1212. Jojo's room is 1215, Captain's room 1216. And I'm in room 916. Thanks. I guess I will explore my room. Well, actually, I'm going to- I'm actually going to stop streaming. I have things I must do. So, uh, well, thank you for all that. I probably won't be streaming this again until next Friday. Just JoJo Friday's things. The memes, I guess. And, uh, so there's that. Close this. And then... <laughs> Just, yeah.